level before the film begins. This leader is provided to permit the projectionist to complete adjustment of focus and sound level Exactly out of chair. All right. Good morning. How are you all doing out there? Let's get right into it over here. Let's see if I can. Uh... So we're just seeing reports that the UK's PM Sunak and EU's von der Leyen are to hold a presser at 3:30 PM UK time. I'm gonna put the book map back up here. I don't know what's going on. So that is 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The UK's PM Sunak and EU's von der Leyen are to hold a press conference. So again, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. All right. Coming into the open here. Just give me a second. For some reason, I'm on the... Uh, I'm on uh, wonky stuff this morning. Give me just a second here. I'm about to, or I am, this is my first live stream on, uh, good morning to all of you out there. Let's see if they can, uh, I have some adjustments to do here. Just a second here. This is my uh, first. I got some weird stuff going on here. This is my first live stream on Twitch this morning. I think I'm. I think I'm live streaming on Twitch this morning. We'll find out. Uh, I've got some. It looks like I have some adjustments to do. I think I can see. Hey, I, I think I can see some of you commenting right now on Twitch. So this is really cool. Good morning, Twitchers. If you're on Twitch showing up this morning, uh, welcome. <laughs> Good to be with you. Kind of stoked here. Uh, right on, John M. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning, everybody's out. I can see you guys. You're new to Twitch. I'm on my spare laptop. I can see I can collapse left pane. Make more space. Have to expand the right panel. Find chat, and that tracks things. You can enable timestamps. Thanks, uh, JTW, Twitch. 
Yeah, good morning, Twitchers. I, I'm not familiar with Twitch, so please bear with me as uh, we make that transition and try to, uh, you know, it's really where we'll talk about Twitch today at some point, too, because I, um, I, I was watching a, a guy went down a rabbit hole, and he was right. I, you know, it's funny because I talked, or I talk about, or I, I get frustrated with Reddit to some extent, but I went through the phase where uh, Google had lost its ability to find answers to questions and reddit became that place years ago and there's a whole new generation of people that are now switching uh or they're trying to find the new place to find answers on the internet it's not an easy thing to do when people are turning to twitch it's uh, one of those places man where um yeah you know, it's a whole a whole other kingdom within within the internet so I look forward to uh, live streaming every day with you guys on on uh, Twitch, man. I'm stoked. If you don't know me, uh, I'm on uh, YouTube normally, and then I've got a Discord and, and Twitter stuff going on, and uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to be with you here on Twitch. Bear with me though, <laughs> because I don't know what the I don't know what the f I'm doing here. I'm trying to trying to see here. Okay, so. Uh, we're on, the, we're on the opening bell here. I got to do something real quick here. Hold on. That's right. Buy my calls this morning. Shocker. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, thanks for showing up. If you're on Twitch or if you're on uh, YouTube, however you're watching, uh, I think uh, I think right now I can see both of you commenting at this point, uh, asking questions. Good morning to all of you out there. Um, yeah, and we'll talk about uh, way the, one of the cool things. I think Winky was talking about this is I know some of you. So this is a free. What I do is free, and so this is another way too to to support the channel uh, without uh, donating. So if you're like a poor if you're a poor um, trader or new trader. You're like, man, I can't support the channel. I'll give you all the likes all day long. There's ways there's ways through Twitch to support the channel. Don't cost you a dollar. Um, so it, that helps too. So anything you guys can do out there, I'd appreciate it. Um, and we're, we're opening up this morning, right? We're going to talk about where we are. We're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. We're gonna, I know you guys are looking for positioning, um, that kind of stuff. Let me bring up um, just a second here. We're gonna bring this up here in the background. See who the market is. We have some stuff to look at. We got a, we had a lot going on. I had an ice storm last weekend. It was really bizarre too. It's like um, I lost power. I think on Thursday, no Wednesday night. Uh, then I lost internet uh, Thursday or Friday morning, and then Friday I had power but no internet. It was really wonky, and a, and a ton of uh, where I'm at is still losing power or internet at this point so can i lose power possibly i talked to um winky about possibly finding a way to still stream i have, I have a generator but i'd have to do some kind of like cloud-based stream and then uh with the generators that i have that kind of stuff and even, another possibility would be to have a second host that could fill in Whenever I'm not here with you, so you you might have another post something like that. So you can see these sellers in Bookmap already this morning, right? You can, and we should have some volatility. Call volatility this morning. We have a gap above that needed to be closed, but we've got gaps everywhere. These are gaps in in low low volume environments too. Uh, the selling off that took place on Thursday. <coughs> All this gap here was low volume environment, right? And then we've got another gap down below here with the same kind of stuff. And they're kind of littering the chart right now, uh, up and down. Or not so much down at this point, but at least up. The There's a bunch that was going on back here as well that you can see. A deal to All BBC this nonsense reporter. back here never got filled. Not showing up on this chart right now. Um, and you can see where the sellers had stepped in on Thursday. Kind of teed off here, teed off here into this close. We had that nice little test down below here, and we talked on Thursday about how we have to get above to 410. 
it's kind of a required thing after the damage that was done down below on the weekly and monthly uh, triggers, right? And we talked about how the swollen, the swellers were above here, right? It's on Thursday, right? The swell swellers are up here just trying to sell. And then between here and 410 into the 28th, that's what they're going to attempt to do. Now, they're going to try to try to sell from above. The, they've got no other choice. It's the only way that the market goes down is for sellers. Just We're going to talk about this on a grander scale here. Uh, sitting above here on this on these on this weekly and monthly trigger down here uh sellers need to 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 attack it right and attack it and attack it they don't really have a choice but to break through these last two levels for the market to go down significantly if we close the month above these levels here they will be repaired and the likelihood of the market going down is much less uh, then, then closing below these levels or not being able to attain uh, 410 by the end of the month. So what what happens here is this. I'm going to show this, show you another chart here for you. <coughs> Excuse me for just a minute. I'm, I'm actually going to bring one more tool up for you to see too. They can try try to visualize this for you. I want to be able to, uh, to vi for you to visualize this in terms of of what's happening in the background here, uh, or or I got a visual representation. Maybe it, it's better to say. Hold on a second here. Yes, yeah, so the weekly is looking strong here, man. It really is. The monthly is looking horrible right now. Daily's doing great. The one hour is what you're concerned with. We're showing weakness in the one hour right now. Let me see if I can uh, show this in a better. Yeah, it's not so weak. Depends. We could go either way right here. But uh, what I want to show you guys is this. Actually, we're not looking that week. I'll show it to you. Let me give you a second. Give me a second here, and I'll show it to you guys. Mute book map here. I'll just bring this over for you. Now, what I'm trying to explain, let me try to explain this in a better way for you here, okay? So, Uh, these, this is a weekly and a monthly trigger down below here and the bears are trying their best, right? They, they want to break, uh, through or at least sell into these buyers so much so that these levels become much weaker. We know that the monthly is nowhere near as strong as the, as the weekly. I can show you that, uh, in another chart, but, um, the point here is that they're, they're selling right into these buyers. And the key here is that. But the key for you that you need to know is that you, you see these bumps here, right? Every, every week and every month, uh, these triggers come, become higher. And coming into the end of the month, if you see, let's say you come into the 28th over here. Uh, that's 27th. But if we come into the end of the month and you start to see these monthlies turning down and these weeklies turning down, it opens a door, a trap door, basically, for us to trade much lower on, uh, on SPY, on the market at least. And so all this, all this damage that's being done can repair itself. But so this, this, is, this implies that uh, sell side knows that if, they, if we can't get above like 410, 48, somewhere in there by in a month, uh, that the trap doors open down below uh, for lower lows into end of quarter. Banks know this, uh, hedge funds know this, callers in the market know this. Um, a little bit too risky for sell side to say, okay, well, if we're not going down, let's say sell side can't get down below here into end of month, then the, then the obvious answer is that we're going higher. And truthfully, if, if we don't get down below these levels, you know, if, let's look at this from a perspective of, profit right 
Are we going up just to the 420? Uh, is it, if we're t being told we're not going down, then 420 is not enough. You need three, 400 points, maybe even higher, uh, to confirm this move higher. And you're talking about a longer period of time, too. If we can't break through these levels in February, we're likely not going to break through them in March. Uh, if we have that repair that's done for the month of March, uh, you're, you're not going to see crazy lows like, you know, we were, t we were before we were talking about 3,200, right? Or 3,000 or 2,800. And now we're just saying, can we get down to 3,600? And 3,600 is almost rear view mirror. Uh, if you can't close the month below uh, these weekly and monthly triggers for the month of February, they, they, we always talk about price and rear view mirror with it. And we start say, you know, we start saying market crash, market crash, but where's that number? And that's a, that's been a moving target, right? Of where that is. Is it 20%, another 20% down? Is it another 30% down? From what price is it down? Uh, those things kind of matter. So you're seeing that. Uh, you're seeing that right now heading into end of February, February sellers trying to come in and we could weaken the market to actually uh, get some much lower lows. And what's not surprising here is if you get the close below the, uh, uh, the monthly, at least if you get the close, you're actually opening up a doorway uh, to like 3,300. Uh, it's open then, right? There's actually a chance of getting there. Uh, in March, believe it or not, uh, there's a chance to get down here in March. Now, you'll, there are some out there that'll say, well, we've, you know, we've got, we had support here and we had major support right here, which I agree with, uh, right in here. And in right in here, we had some major support come in. And, there, and fascinatingly enough, on into Friday's close, I spoke with a few people off uh, Twitter, off YouTube. And I was like, man, I was like, back in December, uh, there was a Friday close that we had right in here uh, where we were showing, uh, we were flashing a crash. And this Friday's close, same shit. Same, same shit. As a matter of fact, we're, we're flashing uh, this same kind of a consolidation here. Uh, is, is very similar to what we were showing in, in December as well. N not too far off from it. Uh, so what are you looking for if you're a bull into the end of the month is you're looking for uh, market breadth to go down and price not to follow is, is really what you're looking for. Uh, the os all the oscillators are out there. PPOs, PPMs are a hot mess right now. They look really bad. They look like we can go down significantly more. And so we really need, t if you're a bull, we really need time here. We need time to consolidate, time for rotation. And, uh, to go higher, uh, very similar uh, to what took place here in December. And it, what's, what's fascinating is you were able to see and watch after that Friday close, you were able to watch uh, <clears throat> the actual rotation in the market take place. And when people were calling for a crash here, late, I think this was a week or maybe eight sessions later, you knew we were going up. You could see that we had rotated and not uh, and consolidated and rotated and not began to sell down to where uh, we would have a bloodbath. Uh, so we'll be watching for that. Uh, and you should expect volatility in this move uh, today, Friday, last week, and even in the coming days into the 28th. And it should be uh, a way for you to see even uh, what, we, what to expect in March. If you're looking for a, for a down month in March, Dude, you want to see a close below 408, 408, 410, I promise you that. You want to see us closing below. Not only that, but you would really like to see a close below. Uh, you'd really like to see a close below, uh, honestly, at some point to close below that 390. It's right here. It's 395, 93, um, 397, 52 currently. I know they were telling you it was 400, but it isn't. It's actually below below this three right currently it's 395.62 and prior to that it was 394.93 and you as a bear you really want to see that you want to see this like end of month close below here um with conviction uh, to open the door to lower lows i'm telling you when you start closing above this you start closing above the hourly the daily any of these thing any of these numbers above here and now it's coming even lower you start closing above like 403 
Uh, if we were able to close above 403, believe it or not, and you see the hourly and the daily and all these all these clusters come up from underneath, it's going to be very uh, aggressively, uh, uh, or we'll be aggressively positioned to the upside. Uh, this looks better for the bulls at that point than the bears. You really you don't you don't want to see all this all all these triggers and volume. Excuse me, um, velocity underneath price. You really want to see as a bear. You want to see velocity coming down on top of price. You want to see all these triggers on top and price leading lower here. Uh, so this is kind of like a battle the next week or so, uh, deciding the fate of the market. Now, if you want to know my my position on this, uh, I've heard people say, "Well, we can we can at least go to 380, or we can at least go to 360." Uh, I I don't see why we can't, but I'll be honest with you. If we start getting underneath uh, all of these clusters, my view is that your next real support, uh, the next cluster or the next trigger, is at 3,300. So just be aware of that. If this is the time when they're going to roll it, I've heard people say, uh, "Watch out for the yield curve inversion." I'm like, ah, I went back th uh, this weekend just to check my just to recheck myself. I went back, and y you can't find this out with just that. It doesn't work. Like the, uh, the two-year yield, uh, we, we, have a, we can have a, a yield curve inversion that rolls over, and the market can melt straight up for an entire year. Uh, you, you need other things to happen. You need the bottom of unemployment, which we're kind of close to, but you need inflation bottoming out. You need uh, rates to be paused or cut. Uh, and if you don't have those things, I'll tell you what, the yield curve inversion can roll right the fuck over, and the market can go fucking, not even sideways, just melt straight up for a full year. Just imagine like a year of us melting up. Forget sideways. Uh, so you got to contend with that as well. Macro signals right now. I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes macro signals look clear as day. Clear as day out there. And right now, th it's a disaster. It's a pure disaster. And if you think that it only ends badly, maybe. But not before going up, or not before possibly going up 400 points. You know, they almost, I gotta say something. You know what it was looking like this weekend? It was looking a lot like Mike Burry being like, the market is a bubble, and then attempting to short it for the next three years or 10 years. Bank of England, it, it looked like that. It looked now. like, man, like, you could see this market go up like crazy. And then finally, uh, he, gets his, he gets his payday. It looks that. That horrible right now, or at least the macro picture. This dream is sponsored by to the tick. You can sometimes put it all together and be like, Fibonacci "This all matches up. Level. This looks like we're like gonna roll the fuck over." To the tick. Uh, and it looked clear. It looked much clearer uh, only six months ago. Right now, it's a disaster. The, think of like the Fed. It, the, if you look at the Fed, right, it's like you walked, you kicked in the door, and they got, they got Janet Yellen covered in flour. They got. Uh, <laughs> Jerome Powell's got eggs all over him. You know, it's like a, it looks like the the Swedish chefs in the kitchen with him, and they got Beaker in there, and you really don't know what they're making. It could be really bad, <laughs> or they could be all right. You know, you just don't know at this point. Uh, so so macroeconomic conditions tough to look at right now. I would feel really bad. Some people out there are using some some indicators, and I'm like, there's no fucking way you can you can call that with conviction right now. You just can't. Um, so be aware of that as well, I guess, uh, for what, what the macro stuff is saying right now is a disaster. If we can go, if it gets slow at some point today, uh, we'll take a look at all of those things. I, and I was one, the reason why I was wondering this is because the reason I was wondering this was because of what Jamie Dimon said, because Jamie Dimon harped back on rates need to be cut. And, uh, that was his thing, uh, this week. And when he brought that up, I said, man, I, I bet you he's looking at, but she's looking at some macro shit, and he's like, what the fuck is all this? So, so of course, I'm looking at him like, now I know why he's saying that. He, he basically needs it. He basically needs a rate cut. Uh, he basically needs a rate cut right now. That's what he needs. He needs it bad. Um, for this market to roll over, that's what they need. They, they need rate cuts. They don't have a choice. Let me bring a book map back up for you this morning. <laughs> I'll show it to you later today. I'll bring up like a, uh, I'll bring up the Fed funds rate, unemployment, inflation, all kinds of shit you have to see, uh, especially against um, SPX divided by the, 
the VIX uh, moments in the market we've we've run right over uh, the yield curve inversion. I'll show you all. I'll show you the the two year yield. Uh, it, it's wild to see because it, it's it's wild because it's not clear cut. That's the problem right now. Is normally you can clear cut, kind of see where, what's going to take place, and the way the Fed has intervened, the way the Fed put money into the system, and the way that they're they're manipulating the system right now, it, it's just fascinating to see. So the Bank of England Absolutely sells 650 million pounds of bonds in an auction, receiving one spot two nine billion pounds in bids. APF field sale operation operation cover ratio one to ninety nine. Apologies. You, you you likely have... We are now you, 10 minutes away from the top of the hour. So we do get the release of the U.S. pending home sales change month over month. Forecast is 1%. Prior is 2 spot 5%. We just get the U.S. pending homes index, which saw a prior read of 76 spot 9. You, you likely have... Uh, if I had to guess, right? If I had to guess, if you're like part of the... Uh, if you're part of the macro elite... I would bet that you have no fucking idea what's going to happen. If I had to, if I had to guess, <laughs> that you have no fucking idea where the mar- where at least where the where the, where the stock market's going. But I would say it's a, it's you could throw a dart at the dartboard right right now because sometimes I'm like yeah those guys are right. So sometimes I'm like those guys have a have a fair point here. We are now trading above uh, the one minute and the five minute. You can see us on the white here. You know what we want to see here, right? You want to see this cross and retest from below. Uh, so get your get your pens and your paper out. What do we want to see here, right? We want to see this five minute coming higher. You want to see this one minute, right? And you want to see a, a retest here and then this shot higher. Uh, you might not even wait for this at this point this morning, right? You've got some triggers above, uh, so you want to see a defense of this white line, this one minute right here. You don't want to see us sell below it. You want to see us defend this white line right here and start to make some tar- some attempts to go higher. We've got a price target above 4,453. Here's our two right here. We've got some H lines above. Looks like we already tagged this one right here, so we're going to get rid of this one. So we're going to bring this back for you guys. We already tagged this one here. This is an H line above. Here's another pivot above here at 453. They've got R3 above at 40140. And I'll be on, I'll be honest with you. Uh, not just closing these gaps above. I'll keep an eye out on the spy this morning and see how high we can actually take this because I don't think that we're done here today. And we are very bullish at this moment, okay? Like right here. We are extremely bullish right here. We've got one, two, three, four, uh, four triggers underneath us. And we are trading above four triggers right now. An extremely bullish uh, take on the market right now. And we are probably looking for like 402.58, uh, which is not showing here, right? 402.58 is uh, most would, would assume that this is an automatic short above. Uh, we've got 402.24, a previous uh, previous close the gap, return to the scene of the crime, above at 402.24. Uh, I'm going to put a price target up there for today. It, it, there's nothing really stopping it unless we trade underneath that one minute right now. Uh, so I want to warn you if you're a bear that we are very bullish at this moment, okay? These, these uh, triggers don't don't really show themselves too too frequently so as of right now um i guess we'll do pt1 i guess we'll do three of them right we got pt1 here pt2 here and then pt3 above i got some cool stuff for you too I got a bunch of cool stuff for you guys out there that I was working on this weekend. I, I worked all weekend. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get the time off that I thought I would. Uh, so I got some neat stuff. I got some cool. You guys want some cool stuff? I got this one right here. This one right here says, uh, Theta Gang is the real enemy. So if I'm flat the market, you'll know it. I'm not having instituted these yet. I'm just going to show them to you real quick. 
Uh, um, so this is captain is flat. If I'm flat, you'll know that I'm flat to market on day trades. That, so this is just day trading stuff. Uh, so I'll flash this up here on the screen so you can see that I'm flat. And it says, uh, it just makes a joke. Always remember that Theta Gang is the real enemy. <laughs> uh, so I'll mute that one. And then I've got another one that says, uh, uh, Captain Man Bear Pig is long puts. So you'll know if I'm uh, short the market or if I'm long puts in the market at any point. Uh, so Captain Man Bear, Man Bear Pig is uh, long puts. And then we've got um, Captain Paper Hands is long so five calls. Five minutes away now to the top of the hour and the release of the U.S. pending home sales change month over month. Forecast is 1% on the prior of two spot 5%. And the pending homes index saw a prior read of 76 spot nine. So you can see those on your screen. And uh, those are those are basically there for you to know if I'm long, short the market, uh, if I'm flat on the market, anything like that. Um, so we'll roll those. Well, I tried to do something. I tried to do like a screen gra screen capture. And then I tried to do some green screen stuff, but I'm not quite there yet to roll that stuff out for you. I'd really like to put uh get rid of this like chat rules stuff and that kind of stuff down below and do like a sport center or a cnbc type graphics but it's it's not quite there yet uh to release um so ab ab above here we've got pt of four zero five four four hundred point fifty three got another pt above from there uh four hundred one forty nine then four hundred four oh two twenty four i don't know that we get a as high as i mean do the, the really the truly the high move on this is uh 40309 so i'm looking for this test down below here we'll see if we grab it Hoping that we can come back down at least and test this. Uh, I want to see this test down below. So I can grab some more calls. I hope I don't get left behind here. I might get left behind. I should probably just jump on and be like, fuck it. That might have been the retest right here at 9.55. Might have been the last retest right here. Uh, this stays good as long as we stay above this one minute right here. Uh, this bullishness stays good. As long as we keep trading off this white line right here, we're good to go. There should be nothing stopping us. It says animated emotes can be, can be turned off in settings. Uh, you guys want me to turn off the animated emotes? Hold on, am I missing something? Do you want to turn off emotes? What's going on here? Missing some. Uh, let me see what you guys are saying right now. Give me a second here. Let me make sure I'm on uh, the most recent chat. Multi stream chat. Stream chat read only. Let's see, let me see here. For some reason, I don't know if I can read. Um, Give me a second here. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Sweet. So I can now see YouTube and uh, Twitch. I can see both of your, your chat messages. Oh, yeah, baby. It just starts ripping right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I can see you guys. Uh, Rowett, you're a moderator. All right. Hold on. Write that down, Rowett. I'm going to direct you towards uh, Winky if you can. Do you mind reaching out to Winky at some point? Uh, maybe you can find him on Twitch. He's the so he's remain, our lead now. moderator for US both Twitch and YouTube. Change month over month. I don't want to step on his toes. Uh, I think I can see. If you're on YouTube, okay, if you're on Twitch, I think I can see both of you now. So I'm on multi-stream now. I can, so, so how about this? Good morning, Nino, John, Cook, Sweet D. 
John M. Rowett, JTW, JTCH, Winky Face, James Andy, Streamlabs, <laughs> Mike Rowett, Canuck Mobile. Oh, so Winky has no mod on Twitch? Okay, so I will add you, Winky, as a moderator on Twitch, brother. Ten seconds. And Winky will have his way. You're double posting Quantum Coral? Right on. So I can see both of you guys tweeting, which is... Or Eight not tweeting, but chatting. That's awesome. Cent with the pending so I can see both of, you got, both of you guys chatting five, here. 82 spot 5. So the U.S. pinning home sales oh, changed their month over month. Oh, yeah, baby. PT number one above. Of At 4.00.53. Zero, zero We're getting close to it. Remember to take some off the top. How do you like them apples for a first time on Twitch? How do you like the free, the free money is already out there? Woohoo! <laughs> Don't forget to take your money and run. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. So as usual, <laughs> watch us end this day at like 4.03. That would be insane. Hold on a second here. <laughs> you guys live on Twitch right on. They're, Twitch is going to be like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> <laughs> Captain Paperhands, baby. <laughs> Captain, take the money and run. They don't even want to pay this morning. I I didn't get to buy into this, uh. But I'm looking at the uh, 400 C's. They're like, you'll here's 10 cents. I'm like, that's because we're going up. You can tell. <laughs> Dealers are like, well, if we're gonna go up a couple hundred points, then you're only getting 10 cents on those zero dates, buddy. I saw that, Winky. I was like, that's what I was saying. So, Winky, I did do my research, and they, they were like, just getting 50 viewers on Twitch ain't easy. And I was, so I saw you guys, and I was like, oh, shoot. I was like, if I had five viewers on Twitch, I should be count myself as grateful. It's not easy. It's not easy getting viewers on Twitch, I was told. So it was very, very difficult. Not, not an easy uh, feat to overcome. Yeah, it says I'm, twi I'm, I'm streaming a rerun. I don't know why that is. I have to get Winky in there. Yeah, so, twi yeah, so on, on YouTube, you have to uh, hit the gear icon right when you're about to take the trade. Uh, so if you hear me being like, yeah, this is where the setup is, you have to be like, boom, hit the, hit, hit the gear icon. Na the YouTube made it lead Looking slow. at the key highlights here is pending homes increased for the second consecutive um, month, uh, up 8.1% from December, as reported. The month-over-month -month contract signings raised in all four major U.S. regions, and pending home sales dropped in all regions compared to oh, one hold on a year ago, here. however. Where's my... Uh... Okay, so change the rerun thing. The rerun thing is in the creator dashboard where you set the title. All right, hold on here. I'll do this right now. Uh, give me a second here. Creator, creator. Uh, give me a second here. Creator, creator. Oh, wow, that is almost immediate, huh? So there's no, there's no, there's no lag here. Okay, creator dashboard. Okay, creator dashboard. Uh, rerun thing is in the creator dash where you set the title. You're almost an affiliate. No shit, huh? Okay. Edit your next stream info. Went live. Cocaine bear tag test English. Uh, doesn't show. Edit your stream info. Oh, rerun. Boom. I got I see where it is. All right, thank you. I see I see what you're talking about here. You know what's weird is that I can't uh Okay, all right. I think I think I got it. It's not a rerun. Thank you, Winky. Winky, how do I add you in as a can you text me how to add you in as a moderator? 
stream manager? I don't know. Maybe text me uh, how to add you in as a... Um... So we just blasted right through 400, the 403, like it was butter. Like it was nothing. We got PT2 above at 40149. I don't, um, I got rid of the rerun. I did that. I figured that out. So I appreciate that, Winky. Into the stream chat and Twitch, then click on me. Okay, stream chat on Twitch. Stream chat on, oh, okay, hold on. Then click stream on Winky. Chat on, oh, okay, hold on. Then click stream. on... <laughs> Shield mode shortcut to customize and preset powerful safety settings. I have no idea what that is. Shield mode shortcut. I didn't. I didn't say yes to that yet. Pin this message. Click to reply. Click on his face. No, it says block a report. Uh, winky. I don't see how to make him a mod. No, no, no. It's trying to get me to make you a bad guy, and I don't want to make you a bad guy. Okay. How do I make you a mod? Moderator. Show mod icons. Moderate group chat settings. Mod. Nope. I haven't seen that. Switch to non mod settings. Nope. My chat setting. Mod view. No, no. Turn on shield mode. Nope, nope, nope. None of that stuff. Let's see. You just, you just have to go into US the stream chat and Twitch, then click on me. Rising after the five. pending home sales data. Yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for um uh, some better instructions. Okay, so if you missed, let me get back to the stream real quick. So if you missed this run up the PT one, uh, that was tagged beautifully. Uh, you're looking for one of two things to take place here. Let me just switch back and see. Yeah, we're just still in rip mode here. You might just be chasing all day long. Um, no, we might come back and test this, this one minute, but I, I don't know, man, it, it, it's very, we're extremely bullish right now. I might just blast off the PT too. It's one of those days where you buy calls on the opening bell and you just kind of leave them. You just don't fuck with them and you kind of wait and see what it sees, see what happens. Now, if you're looking for a reversal here, here's this little red one right here. Uh, you can just wait for this one minute to catch back up here and you might be able to jump on board the train. Uh, so you should be hoping and praying that we come back down, test the one, and attack uh, PT2 above at 40149. If you're already long uh, for the trip for the day, uh, we've got some places above here, 402.24, 401.49. Uh, we actually have much higher numbers to look at. Uh, but we're not going to look at those just yet. Uh, we'll look at them if you'd like uh, briefly here. And you can kind of see where we're headed here, right? extremely bullish right here if we don't even come back and check these numbers down below you saw us t right off watch my cursor right here uh and this is ultimately where we're headed right here boom slam it dude that's 402.50 way up there uh do i think we get there i don't know I, I don't know all i know is that when i trade off that one minute and it starts running and ripping uh when i'm looking to start getting bearish it would be it would be a retest a failure or t two t two touches failure to the five minute until I see something like that. Not even interested in taking off anything on the top up here. Extremely bullish here, okay? Extremely bullish. And what are we doing right now? Uh, shocker. We're just blasting it north now. We're just going straight up from here. Didn't even wait to get back to the one minute. Now trading four hundred point ninety seven, four hundred one point oh four. Do we get 401.49 at PT2 like it is nothing? Let me know in the chat if you see this happening right now. <laughs> Woo! Type mod winky face in the chat too, sorry. You can just type mod winky face in the chat. Let me see. Mod winky face uh 
Uh, we can paste uh, tap as much subscribe button under the video next to the like button. You should have a purple drop down. Uh, purple next to the hold on, subscribe button under the video. Noting the US dollar down at the moment, so looking to US stocks as well. So the More Nasdaq options. extending gains up one and a half percent, with the S and P up one spot two percent. Edit panels. Damn, I don't know what the I don't know what in the heck I'm doing here. Didn't do anything. Uh, first stream. That's my first stream on. Um, not saying I can I can make a moderator. Oh wait a minute, channel modes. Uh, slow mod task review manage moderator moderation settings maybe. Uh, let me see what that does. Auto mod block terms from permitted terms and phrases banned phrases, block hyperlinks non mod chat only channel privileges. Uh, we'll have to do this on a private stream or something. Follow mod tools in private. I thought I made you. Um, I'm gonna have to make you a moderator, man. At some point, wink. All right, so we'll deal with this tomorrow here. Um, unless you can figure something out. So do, do I do at Kevin James backslash mod? Do I do winky backslash mod? Let me see if I can click on his face again. Follow, I'll follow Winky. Okay, I'm following Winky now. Block Winky. I don't want to block a report, Winky. I'm I'm following him. him. Oh, mod Winky face. Boom. Hello, ladies. And where is um should I make Rowit a mod too, Winky? Should I add Rowit in there or where's where's Rowit at? I thought I saw him in here somewhere. I'm not seeing him on Twitch. So you're now a mod, Winky. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> nice. Rowan, are you RT84? Or uh, ask ask Winky what he wants to do. He's the master of all this stuff. Yeah, so 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 on YouTube what you have to do is you need to there's PT2 above. Uh, we'll see if we can get another, another, we'll see if we can get any kind of, uh, any kind of, uh, so on YouTube, if you're going to follow along, you have to go to the settings cogwheel, click on it, and then click playback speed and, it, and, and then click times two. And then you're live with me for the next 15 minutes or so as YouTube natively tries to slow the uh, stream down. Yeah, I'm live right now on, um, yeah, until you're live. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Uh, YouTube natively slows down uh, live streams, which is a disaster. Kind of pissy right now. I'm not, I should be chasing this, and I haven't yet. Kind of, Kind of stinky right now that I'm not in. I wish I had bought some calls down here, and I just would be sitting on them right now. I sold on the bell, and I never got back in, so I'm a little disappointed in myself. You guys want that high target? I can put it on here. You want to see it? And I don't, do we get there today or tomorrow? 403.16? I'll put it up there. It's way up here. I don't know if we get there though. I wouldn't put your. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be betting on this. Uh, this is more of like an kind of an automatic short up here. Four hundred two sixty five. I'll bring it a little bit lower here. We could get to four hundred two sixty five. This would be like the danger zone right here. So remember these. And people come into the stream later, they'll be like, you said we were going to the green boxes. And I'm like, yeah, eventually, <laughs> probably eventually, yes. So there is PT2. Uh, we're kind of there to PT2, kind of hit it, kind of haven't hit it yet. Uh, we'll see if we get up there now. 
kind of want to wipe it out completely right. We're kind of there. This right here is R3 uh, above here, this white line. See, this is R3. Here, bring this up here for you. Not even waiting for the one minute right now. Extremely bullish. I haven't checked on BBBY this morning. Is it blasting off? It should be. I haven't had a chance to look. It was it was forming up to rip faces off today. Yeah, so someone's asking, is this always live? No need to adjust anything like YouTube? Yeah, so here's the baseline. YouTube natively delays live streams by up to about 15 seconds. Now, if your internet is slow, that could add five seconds, three seconds, another 15 seconds. Could be 30 minutes, 30, 30 seconds behind. Uh, so, so to catch up in YouTube, you have to go to the cog whale, hit playback speed times two, and it'll bring you to about a three to four second delay if you've got great internet. Twitch doesn't do that delay natively. Uh, so however good your internet net speed is at home, you will see, hold on here, you will see a, um, 400 C is now, now trading $1.66. You will end up seeing, um, just, just a, a native live stream in Twitch, but you don't ever have to, uh, update. But I think that the, I think that Twitch is. Um, native resolution isn't as good as YouTube. I think YouTube does offer, uh, like if I, tr if I was, um, streaming in 60 frames per second at 1080p, I think they offer, I think they offer like 4k ability and stuff like that on YouTube. I think that, that, I think that their, their higher, their upper end is better. Yeah. First stream on Twitch, man. It's good to be here. It's good to be on Twitch and YouTube. Same time. Uh, this over the weekend, I was looking at. I was like, man, should I add TikTok? So I went to, I went, I had never been on TikTok live streams. Oh, wow. I was like, I don't know if I want to be there, man. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I was like, should I go to Facebook as well or TikTok or a few other places uh, that we could, we could multi-stream to. But I think, I think right now just YouTube and Twitch is, is, is the spot right now. Yeah, I'm look, I'm watching it on my end. It looks great. I gotta be honest with you. For anything that I'm any of those statements that I'm making, uh, I don't see it. I see it looks great on Twitch. I, I'm not trying to downplay Twitch at all. I think that's just what I read or heard somewhere else, and that could be outdated information as well. I'm very happy right now. Listen to the fear and greed index. Yeah, no to TikTok and no to Facebook too, huh? Indicates greed. And the crypto fear and greed index is at 50 out of 100. That's indicating yeah. a neutral. Yeah. So right now, just Twitch and uh, just Twitch and YouTube. That's it. Uh, I went. To, uh, so the crazy part is I've so I've seen like TikTok videos. So it was like I think it was Saturday night at like 11 o'clock or something. And I I got on I got on to a desktop version of TikTok, and I had never been there. And I had never been there uh, on their live stream where you can scroll through and check on streams. This stream is sponsored by TickStrike. TickStrike allows you to actually hear order flow in futures, forex, and stock instruments. And it's not quite... Get a free it, trial at TickStrike.com. It's not quite like... Um, it's seedy without being seedy. You're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on in the background here. You're like, I have no idea what's happening here. You know some sketches going on in some of these things. You're like, this is, people have like signs on them can't show this here and i'm like okay i was like this is really bad i feel like it w i don't want to call it a trailer park but it, it was pretty rough looking <laughs> maybe it was because it was saturday night at 11 o'clock or something maybe there's like better times of the day to be hanging out in uh tiktok live stream world but it was, it was pretty rough no offense either if you're a live tiktok live stream or whatever i got nothing bad to say i probably don't know what i'm talking about maybe it's just my first like you know, breaking in period or something.
Yeah. Yeah, it's like walking on the Vegas Strip at 3 a.m. Exactly. See, whatever you want, it's there. One way or another, you're going to find it. Some of it was kind of cool. I mean, all the, uh, there was like people cooking food still at 11 o'clock. That was all cool shit. Uh, so I was down with that stuff. Some of it was kind of seedy, though. I was, uh, there was a time when I was stationed in uh, Korea. And it reminded me a lot of Seeing Korea. Dollar weakness continue <laughs> was like, across the pairs here. With I was the like, uh, I don't down know. Around spot six three percent at the moment. <laughs> Does bring us now to ten minutes away from the bottom of the hour, where we do get the Dallas Fed Manufacturing Business Index. Forecast is minus nine spot three from the prior minus eight spot four. We're also expecting comments from Fed's, uh, Fed's Jefferson at the bottom of the hour. Looking into this, uh, Fed Governor Jefferson discusses inflation and the dual mandate during a virtual event hosted by Harvard. With a text and Q&A both expected from Fed's Jefferson again in just under 10 minutes' time. Oh. And also got reports earlier that we're going to be hearing from UK's PM Sunak as well as EU's von der Leyen. Uh, so they're also meant to be speaking at the bottom of the hour uh, following a BBC report that a Brexit deal has been reached. So they sold off BBY this morning. That didn't make the cut, huh? Trapped a whole bunch of buyers above on BBY this morning. Brutal. And they've got to move. If BBBY can consolidate here, there is a move there. There's a giant move to like 235. It's now trading at $1.46. Uh, it's tough on BBBY. It's looking like it's close to its end. I, I don't want to say that. I haven't traded uh stock. Oh, look at that beautifulness too. Tesla man just crushing. Now trading two oh seven oh three, waiting for its meeting. I am interested to see if Tesla can trade into its event uh to two twenty. Well, we got two twenty on board as the first target, and then two twenty four. Tesla's still extremely bullish right now. Retesting its one minute right now at 2.06.70. Uh, we'll see if it can hold on there. The next place you want to look for entry on Tesla below is 204.14. Uh, so we'll see if this holds up. I may jump in with you here on some calls. I was looking originally at 400 Cs, uh, but now I'm going to be looking at 401s. I missed that trade. It's funny, too, that... You notice how they're not paying huge money on uh, 400 Cs. Now, this trip higher right here, they didn't pay big money. Uh, so this is volatility leaving the market. So Tesla, Tesla, if you're a Tesla fanboy, fangirl, fail, fan them, whatever you are, uh, Tesla needs to hold right where it's at, 206.62. Next buy-in on Tesla below you're looking for would be 203.92. Um, and we we talked about this earlier, right? Your first your first takeoff is your first takeoff off the one minute, right? And you want to see any any uh, test of the one minute uh, to be met with more bullishness. We're seeing a little bit less bullishness than earlier in the day. We're seeing at least two. It looks like you know you got at least one one real test right now. Uh, we want to see how long this lasts. If we have to retest the one minute twice. If we have to go back down and test the five minute, uh, I do have some calls set up right now. I'm looking at four zero ones. Uh, they're trading 99 cents. I haven't bought them yet, uh, but I am looking at them. I would like to get these if I can for uh, the rest of the afternoon here. Yeah, that's looking good. Let me look at Apple real quick too. And take a look at Apple. Apple bullish right now. Let me check on VIX. Uh, be careful here. You might want to just give it one second here. Uh, VIX is trying to trade, trying to break through resistance at 20.83. Uh, I'm going to give you a warning of a rollover right now at this moment, okay? Uh, so be careful here. Uh, I'd want to see... Oof. This could be a trap here. I'm going to show it to you real quick, okay? 
Uh, just be very conscious of Vix right here. Uh, Vix is able to break above its one minute and trade up here to 21.18. You could see some brief weakness in the market, but a small trap in the market for bulls. Let's just be conscious of that here. Could have a bull trap here that you're not seeing. And let's be careful of, of VIX right now. I want to see VIX reject uh, for a continuation higher in the market. So we're now five minutes away from the bottom of the hour. So we do get the Dallas Fed Manufacturing Business Index. Forecast of minus nine spot three and the prior minus eight spot four. So just seeing the release of Fed's Jefferson's text here, it says that he's committed to lowering inflation to 2%, rejects the argument for raising the inflation goal. Recent data signals now. a labor compensation is decelerating. The core services X housing inflation outlook is uncertain. Could be a trap here, Hyden. Just wait to see the text uh, release early early over from here. Fed's Jefferson was meant to be at the bottom of the hour, has just come out here. In just a second. Fix now trading lower below its one minute. Could get a blast off here. Long uh, 401 C's right now uh, for a dollar 12. Hope I don't get caught in this. It's really fighting. It's, it really is a trap right here. So I got to be really careful. Again, just about three minutes away now to the bottom of the hour again. We're getting the Dallas Fed Manufacturing Business Index. Now trading dollar so one of those comments from Fed's Jefferson. Text release has come out early here. We're expecting more comments from UK's PM Sunak. I want to put some EU stops in. If you're on a trade here, you don't want to lose any money. BBC has reported they have a supposedly reached a Brexit deal. Sorry to put some stops on here. I'm a little little wary of I'm a little wary of VIX right now where it's at, so what about the size here? Can I put the make the size difference? So I'm watching VIX here in the background. I want to make sure they don't get caught up in VIX blasting up to VIX wants to try to trade We've to 2116. Jefferson as well as UK's PM Sunak and EC Pres von der Leyen's uh, speeches here. So the presser and comments from Jefferson due to start again at the bottom of the hour. So just under one minute's time now. R3 PT2 technically hasn't been tagged yet. PT3 above 402.24. Market's showing a little bit of weakness on the back end, but not uh not like a bear market or nothing. <laughs> nothing like that. Uh we're just watching watching VIX right now trying to trade higher. And I'm gonna want to buy down below here if I can if we break through this one minute. Be a buyer again down below. Get that right. 
maybe add down below. Maybe I don't do stops. VIX now trading higher at 20.89. VIX wants to try to get higher here and trade all the way up to 21.15. Watch out for the rip below here. We are still waiting on this data. Minus 13 spot 5, minus 13 spot 5. That's lower than the forecast of minus 9 spot 3. Oof. So again, just uh, seeing the official text release from Fed's Jefferson after that early release there. So it does just clarify that Fed's Jefferson does not update their policy views in the prepared remarks. But uh, So Jefferson here just saying that progress on services inflation will partly hinge on whether labor cost inflation slows and has come down somewhat over the past year, they note. So raising inflation target again would call into question the Fed's commitment to any inflation target and says inflation for core services outside of housing is stubbornly high. So again, just uh, more repeats uh, here than anything from Fed's Jefferson. So Fed's Jefferson is saying he's ra raising the 2% inflation target risk undermining the Fed's credibility. Also says, I'm committing to lowering inflation to 2%. I oppose arguments for raising the Fed's 2% two inflation PKPM goal. PKPM Sunak speaking now says, we have made a decisive breakthrough. We provided the live video for this on the feed for those interesting. Uh, so UK's PM Sunak also says, we're announcing a new Windsor framework. Recent data signal labor market compensation decelerating. The outlook for core services inflation, excluding housing, is uncertain. It's also saying that core service inflation outside of housing is stubbornly high. Uh, also, Jefferson's also saying he doesn't update policy views in prepared marks. Have a nice buy signal the here, UK's right PM back Sinek here. Will say as well that we have changed the original protocol. It says UK and EU are allies, friends, and trading partners. Vix this stream is right sponsored now. by To The Tick. Get free daily pivot points, Fibonacci and market profile levels by signing up at tothetick.com. Oh, you want to see that I'm uh, long here, right? Cat the paper hands is long calls, baby. Vic squeezing higher right now. Vic squeezing at 2093. We have found a way to end the uncertainty for Northern Ireland. I think it said that I was uh, able to be an affiliate right now. I think it said that. No, but I haven't looked. But I saw like some kind of a, some kind of like a, some flashed on my screen. He had a great weekend. Yeah, it said something about me being able to be, uh, said something on the, let me look and see what it said. 
Hold on here. I'm on the wrong. I got like fucking 10 monitors going in the background. You know what I'll do, Winky, is I'm going to get you a, uh, I could, somehow I was able to get you into Twitch from the Streamlabs side of things, too. And I was looking at that over the weekend, so I'll try to get you in there at some point. Get you more access so you can, because I have no idea what, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Chat settings, chat highlights, and mod view, turn on, I don't know, what's shield mode? I don't know what that is. But 10 minutes away now, so we expect to get comments from ECB's the cost. It says uh, video producer, creator dashboard, uh, settings. Let me look at some of this stuff. So ECB's the cost speaks as an EIB it says event you're almost in an affiliate. Unlock new features to engage your community, make uh, doing what you love, learn about. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Um, says I need, uh, 50 followers, stream eight hours per month, average three concurrent viewers and stream seven days per month. Uh, I thought I, I thought I put Morgan a Stanley expects the U S fed to deliver its first interest rate cut in March, 2024 versus the previous forecast of December, 2023. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that sell down. Look at that sell that threw it right over. And look at the VIX trading higher now. Hold on here. VIX, we're probably not done being thrown over here. Uh, I want you to know that uh, when they threw this over, the VIX still has some more room to go up to 2114 right now. Uh, so we'll see if they can throw it down even lower. We might not be done going down here, so just be careful here if you're going to try to buy this. So I said I would be a buyer of the dip down here. Uh, I don't know that I'm ready to buy this dip. I'm looking at, oh, we're, at we're up there now. We're reversing right now. So we just got a rejection on the VIX above at 2108. We did smash higher on that VIX. I bought, uh, so originally I bought 10, I think, at $1.12. And I just added another at 50 cents, another rack. So I'm at 20 uh, contracts right now. Uh, my second buy was at 50 cents. First buy was $1.12, right when we were about to get thrown over and rolled here. Now, so we'll see if this sticks or if we start to come back above. Uh, so I did add to my position down here. And I'm going to watch both of these. Now, I think I'm upside down by about 25 cents right now. Maybe less. We're at trading 53 cents right now. So we'll see if this holds or not. So I'm going to show you the VIX right now, what just took place. So in the background here, we were watching the VIX. And we watched the VIX trade right about here. And this is when I said to you that we could have a, a rollover in the market. And we just got it right there. That was that move here in the VIX. Now, VIX traded up to 21.15, was rejected. Uh, so we're going to watch here and see if VIX starts to blast higher, checks off of 21 and starts blasting higher, where it's looking for. Let's have a look-see above and see how high it can go. Now, let me get rid of this. This is something I was doing over the weekend here. Uh, VIX wants to hold 21.14 and trade to 21.68 on the VIX and that would be where you don't see that would be where you don't see this as being uh, the last down move right you get the first roll over here they rip it back up and try to sell it back down here to 398.60 so we'll see if VIX holds or if VIX starts to blast higher or not Bears with a huge rollover in the market here. Huge rollover in the market. Huge.
Morgan Stanley expects the Fed to cut interest rates at a slower pace of 25 basis points each quarter and sees the Fed funds rate at 4.25% by the end of 2024. Down 20 cents on calls. We'll see if Vix rejects or not. Vix trying to blast higher here. Trying to send this lower at right here. Just look at that. Selling down below. So and what's crazy about this too is we've got... ECB's to cost. We've got all of this from earlier this morning. This so is ECB's all to cost of the um, form in gap that was left behind from, from lower this morning. Before the start of the program today, I had said to Winky, I said, ah, expect some volatility today. So we've got gaps above and we've got gaps lower. And this gap right here hasn't been filled yet uh, from previously yesterday. It's down to 396.27. Now we'll see if, this, if we fill this gap or not uh, below this afternoon. And also just one more thing to, to take into consideration here. See if I can uh, slow, bring that closer here. You can see this is where the bears had sold here and here. And then that was on Thursday. One here. And you see here, here, the bears want to get right back in, just like on Thursday, right? Sell this down and start selling this down in that same plane uh, that they had before. So the key point here in the market is, do they get back down here and close this gap below, or do we trade higher? Um, so what I'm going to be looking for here for myself, I'm kind of sweating right now, to be honest with you. I'm looking for two things to happen. If we can trade higher here, I'm going to try to get out from my calls above if we can trade higher here, right? So that I'm not upside down on them. I'm in for like uh, 66 cents right now. So I want to make sure that I don't get caught in this bearish crossover here, right? Let me, let me close this up for you. So if this bearish crossover takes place and I don't want to get caught in this, right? right there i don't want to get caught in this i don't want to get caught losing any money uh, so what i'm hoping for is that we don't reject right off of s uh, or r2 right you see this is r2 right here and they're trying to sell it right down on r2 if they can now if they can't we squeeze back up here hopefully i don't get i don't lose my ass in this trade so i'm going to wait to see this develop here be patient here and uh see if see if i can get out for a pretty decent price now trading 45 cents right now on, uh, uh, or in 401 C's, they're now trading 44 cents. So we're going to watch to see this play out here. Look to see if the price can get above this, uh, bear, this bearish mover. It's pretty bearish right here, right? When you see this crossover like this, you know that bears are going to want to try to sell off of, oh, hold on a second here. Bears are going to want to try to sell right off of, god damn it. <laughs> They're going to attempt to sell right off of R2 and not even let it get back up to retest that 399, or 399.95. That's what they're going to attempt to do right now. So I'm just going to be patient here and be real calm here, right? Super calm. Bear targets down below right here, 397.89. And also down below here, 396.27 for bears. We'll see if they take those or not. It's really kind of like sweating bullets here, right? I'm like, woof, totally sweating bullets here. I just want that one trade higher right here. If I can get that one trade higher. Yeah, what I could do is, uh, what are you saying? That I could sure turn off the stream and then turn the cost. stream back on or no? Can you guys see me on uh, YouTube? Can someone on YouTube say something? 
I can't see any YouTube. This stream is right sponsored now. by TickStrike. TickStrike allows you to actually hear order flow features, see, uh, forex, um, and stock instruments. I think I can always get a free trial Twitch at comments. TickStrike.com. If you're a YouTuber, can you can you say something on YouTube? I gotta go to YouTube real quick. Yeah, Troy Corp, I see you now. Garrett, I see you too. So I have to leave up a separate chat box, it looks like, right now. It's really bizarre. Yeah, I see you I see what you guys are saying on um on YouTube finally here. Sparky, did you just say yo? Sparky, did you just make that comment, yo? Y O? Yeah, so so my end, Winky, I can't like so my end. I can't see. I like can barely see the chat on the stream. Uh, like uh, like where Bookmap is, and then in my um, Streamlabs main my like where I can no where I normally see the chat, where I inter like interact with all of you guys. I right now I'm only seeing. Uh, I have it clicked on multi-stream, but it's not showing uh, YouTube comments. So then I've got a third display finally with the uh okay so sparky i can see you i've got a now youtube studio open and i've got twitch studio open right now so, I, so i'm looking at twitch still so twitch studio open and then i've got hold on here back to twitch um. It's weird, it's showing, uh, where the fuck is my, uh, stream here? Hold on here. Live channels we think you like. What the fuck is going on here? Sorry for swearing. <laughs> So, you, so Chaz, you can see me on YouTube. I see you, brother. It's just delayed. Yeah. So, so on my multi stream, I'm not seeing any YouTube comments. I just see Twitch comments. So I've got a maybe refresh chat. Let me see. I'm gonna refresh the chat right now. Oh, dude, so that's weird. I can see uh, Sparky now on YouTube commenting. Like, so Sparky just said I sped up, LOL. Was a little behind, subs only, maybe. And I can see YouTube comments again on the uh, multi-stream commenting. It's really bizarre. It's not really working. Like, I can see on the YouTube studio, I can see the YouTube comments. Yeah, Superman, I just saw you, but I had to refresh the stream on Streamlabs Studio. Yeah, I'll have one foot. <laughs> uh starting to get a bearish cross over right now. You can see you can see this bearish cross taking place. Uh you don't want to see this if you're a bull. Absolutely not. They're gonna try to sell this down right here. Uh it's a very bearish setup on the intraday, so be very careful there. If you are long calls, if you got caught above here, we talked about uh, the bearish the bearishness that was happening on the VIX above before it happened. I didn't cut myself out of these calls here, uh, which I should have, right? Not following my own my own telling you that the market could roll over here, right? Now, what I did do is below, I added to my calls so that if we trade higher, I can try to get out from underneath 
uh, and not lose money on the trade. Now, some kind of sweating bullets here, right? I want to see us at least trade higher here so that I can get out at like 60 cents. Maybe I lose three pennies. Maybe I lose 10. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of this. I don't want to get, I don't want to get uh, effed up in here. Uh, so we'll see if I do get effed up or not. Uh, so I'm just waiting, being patient at this point to see if we actually, if the, if the Bears can defend this crossover here or not. Trading 41 cents right now. It's really weird. I can't see all of your, I can see like, I can see like, so I'm looking at YouTube studio and I can see comments like crazy. And then if I look on Twitch, I can see comments like crazy. And then the multi-stream stream labs thing, it's like way far behind. It's not doing it. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to put up another, um, uh, let's find out a way to put up another, a way to read chats or something separate. Uh, another computer or something where I just have them running in the background or something like that. Yeah, I can see. Uh, I guess I guess it's working now. Let me see. So, Winky, you're popping up in both. Like no no lag, no nothing in Streamlabs on on so, Twitch so or UK YouTube. So UKPM Sunak says the Parliament will have a vote on the Northern Ireland deal. I can now see both, but I don't know if it's something. That, I don't know if it's something like after maybe there's a lag after fifteen twenty minutes, an hour or so. Maybe we have to hit it again and again and again. Excuse me. I don't know. Uh, YouTube has worse delay. So who just asked that? So Chase or Tony. So Tony Cheese just said, can you see my cheese? And I still haven't seen it in the um, multi-stream yet on Streamlabs. Oh, thanks, Elviram. I appreciate you. I don't think I can get a sub right now uh, through uh, Prime, though, but I appreciate it. I think I have to wait a few days or a week or two or three weeks or something. No, nothing like that. So I'll do a price target down below here, and we're going to do two price targets for bears. Got one right here at 397.89. So PT one. PT two down below. For the bears, if you're trying to take this bearish trade. There is a bearish crossover here. I'm waiting to see if the if we trade higher here if I can get out. I'm I'm in some calls right now. If you're a if you're a bear, if you're just joining us, <laughs> if you're just joining us, we were like right up here, and I'm like, yeah, we're probably gonna fucking crash this shit down here, and sure enough, we did. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm gonna buy some calls anyways right here, and then I'm gonna add some more down here, because <laughs> I was I was already upside down. No stops either. <laughs> These stops right here didn't even put them in. <laughs> didn't even put it. I was trying to put them in earlier. I'm like, I'm going to put some stops in. And I'm like, why is this not working? <laughs> so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now trading 41 cents on those calls I'm in. Yeah, you can go back in the stream. I said it, right? <laughs> I was like. I was like, we're about to fucking roll this shit over here. <laughs> before before we even rolled it over. <laughs> I gotta be more disciplined. <laughs> so let me see. I can't see. You know, it's really. Oh, okay. So it's really weird. Hey, what's up, Sloth? How are you, brother? <laughs> Good to see you, Sloth. Okay, Sloth, the other day you said, hey, you guys, and I didn't see that comment until after the stream. 
I had to, I, so like a week ago or so, I had a, uh, like a DMC bullshit where I had to cut some of the stream out. But I went, as I was going in reviewing the stream, I noticed that you had said, hey, you guys. And I, I didn't see it, so I didn't say anything to you. So I'm glad that you're here right now. I wanted to say, uh, I saw that comment, brother. Good to see you in the stream. <laughs> Rage trader in the in the making. <laughs> it's weird. I gotta look up this uh this oh dude, they're fucking totally fucking me right now. <laughs> they're trying to fucking trying to sh trying to shake out the weak hands right now. <laughs> Didn't even wait to get up here and to start selling off this crossover here. <laughs> Didn't even wait. They were just like, we're throwing it over on you. Ah, uh, you're welcome. We gotta be more disciplined. <laughs> yeah, so we've got we've got a big ass gap down here to fill giant. I was talking to Wiki this morning and I'm like, man, I'm like, we got gaps, dude. I was like, we got low. I was like, we've got low, we've got low, uh, or a low liquidity environment gaps like above and below everywhere. I'm like, they're gonna go screaming above to cl close those, then they're gonna go screaming below to close the others. And sure enough, that's exactly what's happening right now. Just, just zigging and zagging. <laughs> Baron's just ripped a bad head, dude. You no, know, Baron's is a tough, um. I'm always at a loss for words with reading Barons. It's always a disaster reading the shit that they 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 used to be well respected. I think they just let anyone post in Barons now. Blood red. Yeah, right down here. This is where that gap is, right down below where this gray box is right here. Huge gap to fill down below. Huge. Bulls will try to call this bullish by closing these gaps, but we all know that when we used to be bullish, we'd leave gaps behind. We left every gap behind when we were bullish. Like, we're in a bull market. We left that shit behind for months. <laughs> we'd come back months later to go, to go fill it. <laughs> Yeah, I got some uh, bear music uh, for you guys. Now we're working on uh, some some bear music for the program here. We're 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 working on bull music, bear music, all kinds of stuff. Let me check in the background and see if the bears are losing this here or winning this. Let me check in the background because I know bears are probably wondering. So give me a second here. Ah. Uh. Not bad for bears right now. I'm looking at the velocity for bears here. The one thing that bulls have going for them is that they're on the daily trigger right now. So the daily trigger is just below here. So this should lend some support for bulls. Uh, bulls haven't been able to stay above the daily trigger. Or not the daily, the hourly, excuse me. Uh, I keep saying the daily, but... So right here, there's, the, there's an hourly trigger here. You can't see it on this. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you in a different... Um, Just a second here. So you're watching this squeeze higher right here. You might be wondering why we're not closing this gap immediately. There's two reasons. One that you want to see that you want to like bears want to get the rejection off this one minute. Uh, worst case off of the five minute here on this squeeze higher to get down and try to close these gaps down below. Uh, right now I'm getting killed on my calls right now. By the way, they don't fucking care. They're like you ain't getting paid those again. Now, what I want to show you, though, is this, is that um, an important thing for you to be looking for here is the hourly. Okay, and I want you to see this here. See this green line right here? This is a very important thing for bulls uh, to be above. So outside of the one minute and the five minute, in truth, 
uh, what bulls really want to stay above is this green line right here. I'm going to show you why. Okay. So, well, you see the importance of this. If you are a bull, what the importance of this is. Okay. So just trend. Okay. We're talking multi-day trend here. Um, you see this. So we can switch this up. Uh, I don't know what the best color is for this. Maybe orange or yellow or something. All right. I guess yellow works. Um, so just right here. Okay. So like multi-day trend when we're trading off of this hourly, right? Very bad for bulls, right? You never, ever want to be below this as a bull. And currently, uh, we're above it. So currently at this moment, to see us finding the support here. See how this was just bought right here. Uh, and bulls want to defend this hourly. They have to. If you if you don't defend the hourly here, let me clear this up here. If you don't defend the hourly here, I want you to see how good this can be and how bad this can be. So just just some just like some some calm down if you're a bull, calm down if you're a bear. Not calm down, but get excited, I guess, if you're a bear. Uh, when we trade above the hourly, uh, we tend to make some pretty big moves. Uh, and you'll see some violent uh, violent reactions off of the hourly, right? And you can see us when we trade through the hourly, how nasty that can be. Uh, but when we're trading above it, we tend to trade higher, right? And right now has been the first chance for bulls to uh, trade above this hourly, right? See us trying to win this hourly right now. Um, you don't want to lose the hourly as a bull, right? You want to see us, you want to see price stay above right so we can make some some much larger moves here right uh, start to squeeze hard start to get that 410 on the 28th uh, so just like what it's like when you're like you know having a panic attack or whatever um as a bull right that line is right here just so you can see it this is that hourly candle and so uh what do bears want to do is bears want to say uh, you know what? You guys thought you you both thought that um, you both thought that you were gonna be you know, having a having at least a bull run for some kind of you know like a day, two days, three days, but you're not getting that right. So these these uh bears are trying to trap a bull in right here, right? Get down here, start closing this stuff up, then come back up and and reject. And get all bearish again, right? Get super bear, get closing underneath some key levels. Um, so if bears US can't Treasury Secretary do that. Yellen says we will examine it. Ukraine's calls for U.S. sanctions on Russia's nuclear energy sector. We need to look at potential consequences for U.S. and allies. So if bears can't do that, what you'll end up seeing is this this monster trade higher, right? This is in in here. You're going to see the either either the defense of the hourly, right? Or the rejection of the hourly. Now, here's a key point here, okay? Is that if price gets underneath this hourly here, see what this hourly is right here? If price in the one and five minute get underneath this hourly, it's it's bearish as fuck. <laughs> it's super bearish, right? You don't want to see price get underneath this. You don't want to see price get underneath this right here. If you start to see price at any point, um, trade under. And start to launch off this. This shit's like like bloodbath town down here. Like we just start ripping down. We're gonna get down to that 395, 394. It's a pretty significant trade in here for bears. <laughs> uh, and I'm betting the opposite direction right now. <laughs> oh boy, why am I bet? Why am I buying the bottom? Hold on a second here. You know what I didn't get to check this morning was the... I didn't get to see if uh, market breadth was, was at a bottom. I didn't check that this morning. I, should, I probably should have and didn't. Oh, yeah, that market breadth, bro. Oh. One of my favorites. Oh, man, that market breadth, dude. Can't go too much further down, dude. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, man. The market breadth indicator is almost there. Like, it's it's close. It's getting seasony. 
getting good. Like I'm looking at the market breath right now. I'm like, it's pretty fucking good. I'm looking at we don't. The, the, one of the cool parts here is, is that um, even if we do like have a bloodbath, I don't know, man. You better get that close. Bears better get that monthly close because if they don't. Uh, the market's almost completely liquidated. Almost. Not quite, but... Almost completely liquidated. Not quite there. Needs a little bit more. A little bit more lower prices, maybe, but... Uh, but we're so close that... We're... we're you, like, Chase was asking about call spreads last week, and I said, not yet. We're, we're almost there, Chase. Almost, brother. <laughs> One way or another, you're, you're gonna know real soon. Almost chase. We're either gonna get that last like that last capitulation or we're we're gonna start we're gonna start getting into a put on a call spread trade. We're getting fa fairly cl close, brother. Yeah, we don't have much higher to go. We're right here. Now back to 41 cents on calls. We need price to get above. If you're bullish, you need the price to get above 399.61. 399.61 right now for, for, for bulls. I'll have to retake this back over again. Big, big crucial mar market moment right now. Pretty significant market moment right here. And find out who owns this market. Pretty significant. I'm trying to look right now. Let me see if I can check VIX and uh, some other. Mm. Tellers on VIX on high. They sold VIX right at 2115-ish. We want to see VIX get swatted down again. I'm bullish here, man. I am fucking bullish here. I am fucking bullish. Got a hard on for being a bull right now. Trying to shake man out of his calls. What are you trying to do? Get out of here. I'm s I think of it. This could easily go against me. I'm like trying to shake me out of my calls, and we could probably bloodbath straight down right here. <laughs> like five seconds away from disaster. Uh, do you want me to look at Natty for you? Somebody's saying they're bulled up on Natty. Let me look at it. If you guys are bulled up or bearish on something, let me know. And uh, let me know in the chat, and I'll see if I can look at it real quick. Uh, yeah, Netty Gas had a ex nice explosive move off of a, uh, a three-trigger cluster. One, two, three. Back on the 23rd of February. Uh, you want to see... You guys want to see Natty Gas real quick? I'll show you Natty Gas. Let me see if I can switch over here. So on Natty Gas, um, you can see right here, beautiful uh, clutch. You can remember we talked about it right here, right? Blasted above, right? This was your trigger, blasted above, came back down, retested the hourly. How powerful this hourly is, right? When you saw the retest of the hourly down below and it held, it was huge for natural gas, right? So natural gas uh, just cranking, holding its one in five minute the entire way. Now, what you want to be careful of here in natural gas is, or you want to be able to get above, this is UNG, by the way, 879. To remain bullish, you want price to get above 879. You want the one minute to come with you. Now, with that being said, uh, I want you to see here that uh, this, this rollover here underneath the one minute, 
it does signal some weakness in natural gas. So it does show that uh, the violence of the move looks like it could be over. So like 880, it wouldn't be a shocker to see a reversal just to check trend. So if you're looking for a price on trend, it's 840. If you're not long natural gas right now, or UNG specifically, uh, you probably don't want to be entering here. You probably want to see some kind of a double top of some kind, but you'd want to see uh, like 840, 850 get checked. If it holds and the one in five minute come underneath here and get you some more momentum, uh, there could be another natty gas trade. But outside of that, uh, just be careful here on natural gas. Make sure that it's, um, that it's still viable at this point. Okay, so natural gas. I'm going to give you some levels here. 833, uh, and I'll give you a path of what I'm talking about here. I'll kind of draw you a path here. Now, it could go higher here, but the point being is, um, let's say it tests its high. I want to see uh, some kind of a break and consolidation in here for the next move higher. Okay. And then something, I'll see if I can draw something else in here. Yeah, I want to see like the one minute come back down, come back down here to get underneath price. And I'd want to see that five minute get under there as well. These aren't the best lines to be drawing here. Uh, style red, maybe something like that. So I'd really like to see price get under here uh, and see this and see this line come up here. I got to find a better way to do this permanently so you can see it. You know, something like this. And this is price here. Um, so basically, you're looking for a rejection, come back down, bounce on these triggers again, and then you'll get your next base ripper. Uh, this becomes invalid, though, if price gets underneath this cluster here. Uh, so your next entry for, for UNG is right about there. Still watching for this consolidation here. 98.35, so 398.35, I'm going to switch back over, 398.35, so 398.35 is right here, 398.35, right here, bulls want to hold this right here, bulls need to hold this green box right here, they don't have a choice. If bulls can't hold this, this PT1 is definitely uh, bulls. And they held it right here. They held it right here. And they need to hold it right here. They don't really have a choice there. So I can move this around here. Bulls have to hold this down below. You can see them right now. First bearish cross. See them taking it right off the one minute here. Bears trying to send this market. They do not. These sellers do not want to give this this hourly up to uh, bulls without a doubt right now. And you can see them trying to sell the one in five minute cross right here. Uh, and you're going to see them try to break through this level right here. Without a doubt, they want to get through this level. This is where the dip buyers are down below here. And you will see one cross right here, uh, second cross right here. And they these these bears do not want to. Or not bears, but sellers don't want to see uh, the defense of this hour, of this hourly trigger here, because this is trend change time uh, for the market. You want me to look at EQT, or you you guys want to see EQT, or you want to see boil? I'll bring up EQT. Uh, EQT, e EQT, same thing. E e e e sorry, EQT is trading underneath its one and five minute. You're going to be looking for a test on EQT at. Give you a lower target on EQT of. $33 flat. 
And not only that, but possibly some consolidation down there for EQT. See if I can uh, draw this out for you here, and I'll bring it up on screen in just a moment. Fed bids for six month bills total $5 billion and Fed bids for three month bills total $6.2 billion. This is EQT right here. Uh, EQT, see how you're seeing, um, let's make this yellow here. You can, you can jump in on EQT above 34, 36. So if so if, if price starts to trade above 3460 look for continuation okay on EQT if you don't see price trade above you're going to be waiting for um some kind of a some kind of consolidation to try to even even try to a, try to trade 34 bucks right there's not a lot of of room here for entering on EQT and you need to have to have stops below here and this is probably your better even your better place to buy eqt is 3251 so i'm gonna pop another box in here probably your better buy is down below here like that your best buy is probably here Somewhere around 3258 right here. 3258, 3252, something like that right there. Uh, you'd have to be a buyer above here in this one. On here. Nope. Buyer above. And that, that's the thing here is you want to see like price get above and then the time that you need for hold on here the time that you need for uh price and the one in five minutes to come up un underneath here to get to take that trade otherwise um otherwise you're looking for for a new low down here trade down to 33 3250 something like that on on eqt E trading shorts. Uh, what are you saying? E trade. E, e trading shorts, man. Supporting the stream, brother. For Natty Gas, I'm looking for EQT over UNG. Also, you don't know how short I am in Nvidia. I'm uh, eleven uh, two on Twitch. So just so you know, Cap. Thanks, uh, E trading shorts for saying. Oh, dude, E trading shorts. You're Elviram on on E trading shorts. Right on, brother. I just saw that uh, that tw uh, that DM from you. UNG is Widowmaker for sure with all those companies being financially fucked. Diamond Hands, I feel like a lot of people are trapped long in UNG. On Friday, someone made a fake rumor that someone was buying RC and that was a lie. They're trying to boost it. They're trying to pump it up maybe for the last time this cycle. I'm not sure. Um, see, I'm, it's weird. I'm, I'm not seeing like um, all of your... I'm not seeing all of your... Um, all of your tweets here or um, not tweets I'm not seeing all of your comments here 
I'm not seeing Chase right now on the multi-stream. I think I have to keep refreshing it or something. So I'm going to refresh it right now. Like I can see to it. So right, right now I can see comments on YouTube stream. Um, I see. Yeah, see if we can find a better solution. I, someone was saying something about improve, just I can improve. Right now the labor market is very strong with demand for workers high relative to supply. Someone was saying that I can improve. There's something I can do. Uh, on the Streamlabs back end to get the comment stream better, a better comment stream or a better chat stream on the Streamlabs side. So if I've got, I've got, uh, let's see here. So I've got. So 10 minutes away now as we get the three and six month Streamlabs. bill auctions. The US selling $60 billion of three month bills with a prior bid to cover of two to 72 and a prior high yield of 4.72%. And the US selling $48 billion of six month bills with a prior bid to cover of 2 to 71 and a prior high yield of 4 spot 915%. YouTube screener. And then I've got Twitch. And Streamlabs is saying I can do both of these. But in reality, this one's kind of like not doing it. I ain't doing it. The no go. When I'm watching these comments here and these comments here, they're all real time. But I really want them on this one because this one here is, uh, well, these two are taken. Now I've got three screens right now. Uh, you guys can't see them, but over here I've got a bunch of different screens and it's too much to look at all of them. And this one right here does. This one right here does all my functions too. I'm trying to switch between screeners and all that kind of stuff. So I've got like work to do on one, and then these two here is where I see you guys chatting. Yeah, you know what? Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, the Streamlabs bot is not in my Twitch channel. You know what? Winky, I did see that uh, as an option. But I don't think I enabled. I think I have to go to streamlabs.com. Let me see if I can do that right now. I think I have to do that in, in streamlabs.com. But Jefferson says it is possible for inflation to decline without any unnecessary amount of disruption in the job market. Hold on, brother. I think I, I think I can do it. Uh, create bot account. Click here to add. Modules. Saw that last night, Winky. I don't know where it is. I'm looking right now, man. I don't know where I saw Winky to do that, but I saw it last night. Last night or something. Community.
Give me a second here. Where did I see that on Streamlabs? Viewers, people management. I don't see it, man. I know it's in here somewhere. Give me a second. Let me look on uh, Cloudbot over here. So five minutes away now to begin the three and six month bill auction. So the U.S. selling sixty billion dollars of three month bills with a prior bid to cover of two to seventy two and a prior high yield of four spot seven two percent. The U.S. selling forty eight billion dollars of six month bills with a prior bid to cover of two to seventy one and a prior high yield of four spot nine one five percent. Let me see if this works, Wiki. I just did a mod Streamlabs in chat of Twitch. Did that work, Winky, or not? Mod Streamlabs. Did you see the Winky? Did you see if he became a mod or not? The moderator Winky. I see what you as a Winky as a moderator, but I don't see. I don't see. Um, Back to chat. Chat pause due to scroll. Doesn't look like he's present in there. Chat highlights still mess still mod icons. Okay, there's mod icons. Switch to my non mod settings, chat highlights. And then now it's showing your icon. I got a ton of work to do here. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. I'm going to end up fucking this broadcast up, is what I'm going to do. Yeah, I was trying to put them inside the stream. The uh, it said, it said, it said on the dashboard, it said, uh, Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Cloudbot is a chatbot for entertainment moderation for your stream. Well, let's say this might work. All right, hold on. I might, I might have found it. I might have found it, bro. Streamlabs is already a moderator of this channel. Hell yeah, baby. Boom, I think I got it. I think I got it, Winky. I think I turned it on. It says Streamlabs is already a moderator of this channel. I think it's I think I clicked it and then I and then I did the uh and then I did the the backslash thing. I think we're good to go. I think we're rocking and rolling now. Let me know, but I think we got it. Yeah, I think it's I think he's in there now. I think it I think I had to hit like a button. Yeah, there it is. I had to hit like a I had to hit like an on off button and then I had to hit a uh like a backslash thing. So surely expecting the three and six month bill auction. I'll lead with the three month bid to cover. All right, back to the stream. 
I think we're good now. All right, so what's going on here? So, all right, so I'm back on, so I'm back on to where we are right now. So here we go. So right here, nothing's really changed right now at this point, right? I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with SPY. So if you're looking at SPY right now, right? We talked earlier about the hourly, you see this green line right here. This is the hourly trigger right here. You can see bears trying to sell underneath. Bears trying their best to get underneath. Now, the more time we spend here, the more bullish we become, not bearish. So the longer we spend time here, we don't break below this green line right here. Well, you can't see the two screens. But the more that we don't spend time breaking below right here, the more bullish we actually become. So, so the more time that we spend here, right, what you end up seeing is you'll see this white line get underneath here. You'll see this red line get underneath here. And if price can get above, we're going to get a squeeze here, a big squeeze. Now, if we don't spend a ton of time here, if bears are able to be like, yeah, we're super bears, your cap. Get out of my face, right? If you see price get below uh, 398.25, we'll turn bearish, right? Until we, until we see that. So, you, so bears need to get underneath 398.25 and start trading back down below uh, this hourly trigger to get us bearish. So as we were showing you earlier in the stream, you can, let me see if I can get this on a bigger time frame here. Give me this to help. So in a larger time frame here, you see that bears want to get underneath the, see this green thing right here, right? This is when we're bearish, right? When you're, when you're underneath this, this green line here, you're, I'll change, I'll change it to red for the bears. Hold on here. So when we get underneath this red line right here, we're very bearish, right? You see how long that lasts is days, right? See that? 16th, 17th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, right? Bearish, right? And we're not under that number yet now, right? So as soon as we're underneath this number here, and bears can hold on to it. Bears like, we're in bear town, baby. We're going to get right back on bear town. We're going to bloodbath this down. We're going to get underneath 395.60. And you can see bears. Let me switch over so you can see this on a, on a better chart here. Selling $66 billion of three-month bills. Bears want to get oh, underneath this green line right here, right? And hold high. this. Taking a look at the six-month bids. Bears are like, we're super bearish. Do we just tag PT1 for the bears? And see it right here. US selling $53 billion of six-month bills. PT1 tagged for the bears. And it was 93 spots. We're going to get rid of PT1 now. It's at high. We got PT2 down below here, the rest of this gap down here, to fill at 396.27. Bears winning here, two bearish crossovers. We have the first one above. We didn't. We saw this one here before it happened, but this was a big one, right? Smashed underneath it, rejection again, and now we're getting underneath. This stream is sponsored the by the hourly Strike. trigger. So Tick one Strike minute, allows you five to minutes. Hear now the this is the hourly trigger. And stock Bears want to get underneath get a free and trial smash at through to 396. 27 huge moves price target down below for bears 397.14 i'm going to move this up 397.14 right here 397.14 for bears pt2 smashing my calls gone destroyed gone baby I think I'm down, dude, I'm down some serious money, like a thousand bucks or something right now. It's pretty bad. PT2, I'm going to give you a price target on PT2. Hold on here. Three ninety seven point seventeen on the downside for a break below this green arrow right here. Look at that. Look at the selling off of the one minute chart here. Selling again, trying to get down and get this 397.17. Uh, not a good sign for bulls in any way, shape, or form. This green box, this is the one hour right here. This switches over 
into resistance now for for bulls and continued downside bears want to hold this off that one minute tee off it one more time down below here and then eventually get underneath uh the daily trigger so this is the daily trigger just hold on, let me make sure i got that right As Jefferson says, most recent inflation reading was elevated and hard to understand the dynamic process generating inflation. The bears, if they can get underneath, even if we trade higher to this one minute right now, even if we trade higher here, if the bears can get underneath this daily and then get underneath this, uh, or excuse me, this hourly and get underneath this daily trigger, huge, huge moves for the bears. Huge. We'll write these in here. We got the hourly trigger right here. Hold on here. I'm listening to my, my kids make fun of me in the other room right Fitz now. Jefferson says it's <laughs> under no illusion that it's isn't going to be easy to get inflation back to 2% and it could take some time. This is the so daily trigger right Jefferson here. Jefferson says under no illusion that it is going to be easy to get inflation back to 2% and it could take some time. Huge moves for the Bears right now. We'll make this one red for the Bears. We don't want to make it. We don't want to make it. We don't want to make it uh, green. We most definitely don't want to make it uh, yellow. The Bears want to hold this. Huge moves for the Bears for late for middle of the afternoon. What time is it right now? Eleven thirty-six. We're not even in. We're not even. It's eleven thirty-six right now, right? We're not even in to the afternoon yet on the stock market. Not even near in right now. We want to see if the bears can hold the hourly here and trade us down to the daily down below and get this PT. If they can just tee off and take us, take us down to that next level right up here and then trade right back down. You can see this white line right here. It's exactly where the bears want, want us to take us right down and close this uh, down below at 397.17. All right, let me see what you guys are saying in the chat. My chat just came back online again. 60 mil put strike. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, good morning John Haggerty. How are you, brother? Uh, see Cocaine Bear. I didn't get a chance to see Cocaine Jefferson Bear. Jefferson says, I will be looking for signs that inflation is coming down, and it is, if it is sluggish or moves in the wrong direction, we'll do more. So just repeat that. First, Jefferson says, we will be looking for signs that inflation is coming down, and it is sluggish or moves in the wrong direction, we will do more. I wanted to go see Cocaine Bear this weekend. It was not able to go see it, but I do have plans to see it. I will say something. I did look for it on... Uh, to download it and no no joy in that one either so i have to get there to see it at the theater no uh, but still didn't get a chance thought i was going to get a chance weekend didn't happen i had um i've got a i've got a uh i've got a lot of women around me and uh they were so upset that the power went out this weekend i think that they wanted i think in my own view they were upset that they weren't productive for two days and they if they couldn't be productive they, they expected to be productive on friday and the internet went out again and so they being non-productive for two days losing like a four-day quasi vacation to sitting around and waiting made let the left them quite upset once the weekend came so that didn't happen for me <laughs> uh, but i do want it to happen Uh, the reviews are mad. I heard mixed reviews. I heard there were some really good. I heard the, what I was told was that um, if they didn't know that it was supposed to be funny as all hell, it would have been really funny. So they kind of included a but little Jefferson bit too much. Says the Fed does not have any role in the allocation of capital across the co the economy. That were kind of in on the joke, and then I heard that when they took some of the serious parts, they shouldn't have t had so many serious parts. That should have just been like balls out kind of crazy from start to end and that they didn't do that either. So I heard, I heard kind of mixed reviews uh, on the movie myself. Yeah, it was definitely Lord of the Flies at, at my house. 
without a doubt. It was insane. It, it was weird, too, because on, so I think it was Wednesday to Thursday. Uh, we didn't, we lost, no. I don't, can't remember if we lost power and then it came back on and then it went out with the internet. And then we thought we were fine on Friday. We we're like, everything's going to be great. And like four in the morning, I was working on uh, Twitch stuff and the power went, or that's power. The power stayed on. The internet went out. And then that morning, I'm like, well, should I wake them up or just let them sleep in or let them find out for themselves? And I didn't say anything. So they woke up expecting to get work done. They could have their weekend, and there was no joy again. So then they were waiting all morning on Friday to go back to work and school, and uh, there, was, there, there was nothing, right? There was no internet. And actually what's crazy is there's still people losing internet and power intermittently where I live. It's all over the uh, Detroit subreddit right now. People are raging upset. Raging upset. <laughs> Having kids say the F word? No, they don't do that. <laughs> Whenever I say the F word, I think they hear me saying the F word, and then they're in there giggling and laughing because they're in another office. Uh, Brian's channel. Yeah, I think Brian deletes all of his videos. I think he always has. I think th I think that's been his his thing. So the UK to drop the Northern Ireland Protocol Bill after sealing the deal with the EU. Haven't heard from him in weeks. Hope he's okay. Um, I haven't. I used to be a firm follower of Brian's. I can't anymore. I, I, I don't have the time to. I'll be honest. I don't have a, I don't have a ton of time. Uh, it takes a lot to what we're doing. We're, we're trying to launch a website right now for you guys, and it's consuming me. It's like consuming all of my time. It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I think, I think, like, I think oftentimes people will, like, do this stuff without doing any of the background work. And so they just get like, they just get like a, like a, they just get like a, like a half run and go kart up and they go with that. And we're trying not to do that. So trying our best to like do the foundational work so that it's functioning. And it's been, it's been more work than I expected without a doubt. I heard it was too long. That's why I heard it was too long. So maybe someone will cut it down into a short, right? On the on YouTube or something. No, no, yeah, not yet. Do you want me to show them? I don't know if I want to show them yet. Give me like a week. I have to do a bunch of work for that. Uh, we've got some. We've got prizes for you guys. All right, I think we're gonna have prizes for you guys. Uh, I know I want to show them too, but I can't just yet. <laughs> they, they, these they, wiki. These people think that it's like I wake up in the morning. And we sh that we well, we wake up. We just come on and broadcast or something. But there's a whole bunch of shit going on in the background. Winky worked on something over the weekend, and uh, we hope we have uh, something f f something awesome for you guys. Kids these days, I don't smoke weed. My dad smokes weed. I'm not a dork like him. I, th I think th I think that was I think uh, marijuana like smoking weed. The moment it was legalized, that was it. It's weird too. My kids see so. It's weird because we used to live in in the West, right? And uh, people always kept like like marijuana smoking. It was kind of it was legalish, but it was still like it was kind considered considered kind of I don't know edgy. Now that it's legal, everyone stinks of pot. They they smell really bad. They're high everywhere and they look sloppy. It's like when my kids see anyone that's high out in public, they're like. They look just like drunk people. Like, why are they walking around all messed up? So all these adults look like they don't look good to kids. 
It's like it's like the perfect anti smoking marijuana. Like making le- w- like weed legal has been horrible. The kids are I don't know if it's all kids, but at least my kids are just like that's gross. <laughs> like they stink really bad. We'll be driving down the highway or something and uh it'll be a nice warm day and they'll just smell the reeking smoke coming down the highway and they're like what is all what that's gross. Uh it's it's, it's like it inverse Say everything that the war on drugs couldn't be. Yeah, it's just like cigarettes, I guess, to a point, right? <laughs> Life feels really bad without drugs. <laughs> I think most people are at some point, right? A lot of people on antidepressants or weed or mushrooms or whatever. Um, and then you got prescription. Well, I used to live in uh, Utah, man. And they can't do drugs and drink, but they do, they do throw some prescriptions on. Like famous for it. They love prescriptions in Utah. I probably shouldn't say that, though, but that is true. Yeah, I can see all your streams right now. We're just trying to work out the kinks. I can see the YouTube. Um, I can see the YouTube comments right now. I can see YouTube and Twitch, so I can see both of you guys. Uh, tw- uh both of you guys' comments right now. It's working finally. ECB's I think I just had to work out the background stuff. Territory on rights. Bunch of like, uh, technical stuff to get the uh, ECB's uh, says of the repricing report. of rights bets reflects ECB moves. <laughs> ECB's widget says the markets are right to price in 50 basis points for the March meeting. Yeah, I think it's the. I think it's like the. This stream is sponsored by To the Tick. Get free daily pivot points, Fibonacci, and market profile levels by signing up at tothetick.com. Yeah, I think I think everybody today definitely has some, some kind of crutch of some kind, right? You see it often. Meeting by meeting. Hold on a second here. See if the Bulls can pull this off or not, if they can take take back what they lost. Morning, Derivative Yield. How are you, man? ECB's Vucic says the ECB's role is not to say where the terminal rate should be. Kind of do or die for the Bulls here, right? Bulls, man, not looking good down here in any way, shape, or form. Bullet edibles coming to spend. Your girlfriend vapes because ECB's her joint or his thigh joint look is broke and can't smell head, anything. At the headline and core inflation, just apologies, just repeat there. It says we must look at the headline and core inflation. Yeah, I've got no, um, I've got no take on it. I took uh, mushrooms, uh, and it helped me through some PTSD issues that I had. ECB's which is, says headline yeah, inflation it worked, worked is great set for to me. Fall. Uh, then I took uh, Molly at some point. This was years ago. I don't uh, take that stuff anymore, but it worked for me. That and heavy count. I mean, I don't know if you guys do this in your real life, but I had never been to a counselor. I took uh, heavy counseling for a full year, and it worked great for me too. Uh, all three of those things helped me uh, make some changes in my life. And ECB's Vucic says, as long as core inflation persists, we must preserve. So just to repeat, there, as long as core inflation persists, we must persevere. Yeah, I think counseling was a big one for me. Yeah, how do you change? So who's asking? JT Twitch is saying, uh, how do I change your presentation? I think you do it under your... Um, 
I think you do it under your, if it's the top right hand side where you see your profile, I think you click on that. And I think you go to settings. I think you click in there and you can change in settings. You can change how your name presents. Yeah, profile pic. He works until it doesn't. You know, it's weird as I, uh, I sh it's been, so I can't get in trouble for this. This is a long, long time ago. But back in the Silk Road days, you used to be able to get that stuff and pretty much know what you're getting. Uh, I would never buy, uh, back then I would never buy drugs off the street or anything. I used it in my Burning Man days. And it hel helped me to get through through a lot of stuff. It's crazy. The uh, you don't want to know. Like, if there's probably three or four mistakes I've made in my life, one was selling Bitcoin. Uh, big time. No, no. ECB's Vucic says the lead markets are likely to remain strong. Big time. Big time. No, no. That was a big mistake I made. Huge. As a matter of fact, I bought the. Uh, I just bought the bottom in. Uh, what was it? One of the. I feel like I, got, I still have some crypto. I bought some some of that some shit coin that went to z almost to zero like point zero 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 um Luna or something like that. I bought some of that and it went up three hundred percent. And I never sold it. I just keep it's sitting in there now. I'm like I'll never sell it. Just leave it forever. But they worked for me. Uh it absolutely one hundred percent worked for me. I think I think well they said they just legalized mushrooms out west I believe I think New Mexico made it legal and I think Michigan did too I think Michigan just um just made it legal as well so just on board now, with that. so we expect to hear comments from ECB's Lane so ECB's Lane gives a lecture on macro financial stability in the EU and some lessons on the occasion of the 50 year of Irish membership of the EU in Frankfurt You know, it's odd. So you're saying, uh, per Bill, Tom's talking about uh, the difficulty. I, I was recently on a, um, I was recently on a, a sub, a sub that I'm involved in, and I didn't know that the military has changed a lot of its, uh, how it trains people and stuff. I had no idea. And uh, I guess they've 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 changed the way that they're they're training uh, n new recruits and stuff like that. Uh, th I guess those days are over, uh, like the shark attacks and all that kind of stuff. And supposedly, I don't believe it. Of course, they said that shit when I joined, and then you get there and you're like, none of this shit's changed. It's still horrible. <laughs> I heard that shit when I was. Cause I don't know if it's real or not, uh, and I don't know who to ask because you know that there's uh, active, uh, you know that there's like retention NCOs and shit in those subreddits they try to push a narrative and i don't trust any of those fucking people so i'll be honest with you oh <laughs> uh, dude the, so the first time on i've got i got some cool videos i was going to post on twitter at some point i've got some really so uh during the uh during the uh uh burn wall street burning man i built a bunch of uh, hexierts and stuff for that i got video of uh, building systems for that specific Burning Man. So you're talking long, not long, but long enough. L long enough ago that at that time period, if I had just held on, it's weird. My, my neighbor, my neighbor was uh, was an engineer in a a TV a TV station, and he was mining Bitcoin back then. He's very wealthy now. He's done very well for himself. And of course, uh, at the time, my girlfriend, who's now my wife, was like, sell that shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're going to have a having coming up. 
we're probably going to get destroyed. And it, uh, th at this point, that all those have, I think it was, I think there's been two since then, but I could be wrong, maybe four. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I think if I just held through all that shit, I just would have been fine. I'd be very wealthy right now. <laughs> very, very wealthy. We'll let the politicians try it first. I think if they did it, you know, it's just like anything, right? If you had a, a pharmaceutical company, they've already done the research, right? You know that they've already done the research. If you let a pharmaceutical company did it under the supervision of a, a, a licensed psychologist or psychiatrist, things would probably be better for people. I would never recommend the use of drugs, any drugs or drinking. Um, but if you go to, a, you know, it's weird if you go to a if you go to a, even a licensed uh, professional. So went out to respect sometimes they have a hand. They used to, who gives a lecture on macro financial stability in the EU. You guys know that uh, some lessons on the occasion. Legal, right? the 50, 50 years of the Irish membership of the EU in Frankfurt. You guys know this, or maybe some of you know this. Maybe the youngins don't know that ecstasy used to be legal. Uh, it was like developed, I think, by Pfizer. It was taken by. Uh, many years ago, it was developed, I believe, by Germany in World War II, but I could be wrong on that. Now, I know that for sure, though, that I think it was Pfizer. Uh, was That was part of the... Um, now, the story goes that uh, uh, marriage counselors were giving it to married couples, and they would say to these married, these married couples, couples would be having uh, issues in their relationship, and so they'd like prescribe them to you and your wife and say... Now go out and have a good weekend. And so these couples would go to nightclubs in New York City, and they would dance at these uh these party with these party kids. And then the party kids found out what these they were like. What are these people doing? Why are they having such a good time? And so then party kids started showing up for counseling, <laughs> getting prescribed these drugs. And uh, you know you you know how that goes. People are like, oh, so no, the presentation to ECB's <laughs> so. lane will be. Uh, published on the ecb website so we'll get that out as soon as it's available yeah it was once prescribed yeah for counseling so i think the same i think the same thing uh holds true to today i mean it's, it's kind of bizarre The voices are telling them to confess. Yeah, once you, it used to be legal. It used to it used to be a legal drug. Can you imagine being like uh can you imagine being a like married and you're having a rough go with your wife and your marriage counselor gives you some some MDMA and says, All right, take one of these and get a babysitter and like your babysitter doesn't show up one uh, that Friday or something, so you're just at home, and you fall in love with your wife again in front of your kids. I can't imagine what that was like. I can't can't imagine not can't even imagine it. Like honestly, not knowing what you're being prescribed by a by a marriage counselor. If you're if you weren't if no one told you yeah you're being prescribed MDMA right now, it's got to be crazy. Yeah, that's a fair point too, right? Uh, everyone was on cocaine and heroin. You know, who, well, last night I posted about uh, Bukowski. And what I always found fascinating about Bukowski was he was a, he was a great, like, plain, he was a great plain writer. Uh, he, he, did some, he did a really good job describing the truth about what it was like in the time periods that he experienced. Where if you read a newspaper or a, or a book or something like that, you might not get uh, tr an accurate presentation of what it was like to live in these time periods. And uh, one of the fascinating parts about Bukowski is when he when he writes about you know, New York City and what was going on then, it, it's not too different than what uh, life is like today in a lot of ways. You hear about the good old days and stuff like that, but uh, you read you read some Surely of these writers some that told the truth. That's all bullshit.
<laughs> yeah, isn't that wild, right? Can you believe that, Jimmy? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Uh, can you imagine being given the uh, MDMA, you and your wife, on a Friday night? <laughs> that would have been wild. That's crazy. So uh, Shiraz is saying that I work in the medical field. It's my job to ensure that patients remain, remain addicted to hardcore addictive medications. Insane. I didn't, uh, I didn't, um, I've never gotten caught in taking opioids uh, prescribed. I've been prescribed them. I had my teeth, my, uh, my wisdom teeth removed as an adult. And they were like, do you want some? And I'm like, nah, I'm good. And then like that night, I was like trying to call my dentist up. I'm like, I need something right now. Um, but other than stuff like that, the only thing that I remember from taking that stuff is even if it was only for a few days, it, it like tries to wrap its ar- hands around you and keep you, uh, keep you on them, right? Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty raw. So we've posted out the presentation slides from ECB's Lane's full speech on the feed for those interested. As it doesn't uh, seem to include much in the way of a uh, current monetary policy. Yeah, I think that's what they gave me. They didn't give me much. They only gave me a very small amount. It was only a couple days. Uh, that was it. I mean, I realized why. Let's see if I can get over there and do something. Show that up a little bit better there. Just bouncing around now. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, if I think, I think if I think, I think if I, were, I think if I had that much pain where I couldn't, uh, I have pain now, but I get, um, I get cortisone shots on my shoulders sometimes or my lower back. I'll get a. They don't. They say it doesn't matter where you get them, but I'll take a cortisone shot every three to six months or so. Um, but other than that, I'm not prescribed anything. I take uh, fish oil. And I take, um, I don't take any more. I used to take some aspirin and stuff. Uh, but I don't take any of that stuff. I, t- every, I tried, um, I was thinking about taking uh, testosterone at one point. Decided against that. Um, I was taking, uh, briefly I took uh, something, I forget what it's called now. I'll have to look for it and see what it was. But I stopped taking that too. Hold on. But no, anyways, nothing prescribed. I don't take anything prescribed at all. Yeah, I don't see any bleeding going on in the market right now. Um, if anything, this more, looks more like selling puts for calls. So it's not looking. Although I will say this, right? You, you've still we're still below the hourly here, which is not good, right? I will show you what we look like. The hourly is not looking too bad right now. Let's have a look at the hourly here. Uh, lower ho- lower lows in the hourly velocity. This is all good to see. So far, all good to see for the bulls. Uh, we don't want to close below this hourly, though. Anything, anything like closing below this hourly is very, very negative and bearish. Um, but you can see these wicks down below. These are buyers stepping in. So, so far... Um, still not completely bearish here at this point. Uh, the more time that we spend down here and the more time the bulls have, so the bears have time. I don't know if I talked to you guys about this too much, but, uh, sometimes I talk about time, uh, with you when I'm on stream here, I'll sometimes I'll say, we've got 15 minutes, we've got half an hour, we've got an hour, uh, to stay more bearish or bullish. The more time that we spend, 
the more time that we spend here, the more uh, bullish we become. So the longer that we spend here, uh, th think about, pretend this chart was upside down, right? Well, not really, but for at least bearish, um, when we're when we're upside down, if this if you were a bull, right, and we were upside down right now, we spent a ton of time. This would be like trying to retest the high right now. You get the high, and you're trying to retest the high. The longer we time we spend here, you can see this white line here flattening out, and you can you'll start to see the red line flattening out. The more flattening out we see, the more the chance that price actually moves higher. Bears want to see acceleration, always acceleration to the downside. Bears always, always, always want to see acceleration of the downside. And so on a time frame, it's 12.05, right? So bears basically have 25 minutes at this point until 12.30 to send this down. This is kind of like their last hurrah, so like right here. But by 12.30, they need to tag this 397.17. If they can't do that, right, by the time we hit 12.30, mark this on your own clock at home. If bears don't get down here by 12.30, you will see the bulls take over again. You'll see time would have passed, and, and you'll start to see us trade higher, okay? So you're going to be watching on a clock right now. It's 12.05. Bears have a half an hour right now to get down here and get a new low. They have to. They don't have a choice. The longer that they spend here, the more chance, chances of this being an actual buyable bottom. Uh, so you want to see, you, if you're a bear, this is what you want to see. You want to see... Uh, this price target 397.17 by 12:30. If you don't see this by 12:30, the bulls are going to take over, and this will be a bottom for for bulls to buy. I take vitamin D. I do take that one. I take uh, fish oil, vitamin D. I take an everyday multivitamin, um, just like over the counter shit. I went through UNG in the broadcast uh, 15 minutes ago. I'll look at UNG again. Let me take a look at UNG in the background. UNG price is holding above. Uh, it's at 881 right now. It's holding above. It's one minute and it's five minute. It's bullish right here uh, right now, but you need to put tight stops below eight dollars and eighty cents eight dollars and eighty cents uh so it is bullish right now on ung and you just want to have stops below eight dollars and eighty cents on it uh, price target above on ung man retest the high baby retest that high on 896 on ung Didn't give it to your wife for a C-section. Stopped taking my nurse. I developed eczema on my arm, and then I started taking it. My eczema was went away. It was it was magic. No kidding. Yeah, cor the cortisone shots that I take, hundred um, percent. But I've been I've been forced into it over the years. I've done everything that I can do to try to um uh rehabilitate the, the problems that i have but there's no there's no way to uh, re rehabilitate the damage that i've done so at this point it's extending uh my usefulness physically <laughs> until i'll be in a wheelchair one day uh, the operations that i've been offered uh there's no guarantees that i'll um that i'll recover from those like i'll have to stop doing certain things in life that i don't i'm not, I'm not willing to give up uh, namely, like hiking, biking, uh, surfing, skiing, all that stuff. Not willing to uh, risk not being able to, to still participate in those sports. Sailing is the big one. Uh, same with my fiance w when we have kids, no meds like that. Yeah, you can't. It doesn't work.
Yeah, body surfing, man. I could never do that. I got a buddy in California that used to body surf, and I, I can't do it, man. Those guys are badasses. Like, I couldn't do it. I know, it always felt way more dangerous than surfing, 100%. I've had, I have some buddies, I've got some friends that are skiers and they've all had knee operations and dude, like three out of four are never right afterwards. I think part of it too is that, uh, you're supposed to go into this, uh, like no movement traction where you're able to put this like brace on, but you're not supposed to do anything. And none of them, none of them, none of them do that. They, they keep walking around and keep active to some extent even when they're not supposed to be and that's it they're done Yeah, I'm about to add I'm about to add to these calls right now. I've got a 20 pack of 401Cs. I might just I don't know that they're ever coming back, but someone just bought uh 400Cs. Those are 20 cents. Uh I don't know if we're going to get back up to 400 though at this point. I mean, this looks like it wants to get down there, doesn't it? Looks like it wants to get down here and tag this down below. That's ultimately pretty bearish right here. Uh, so if they can get down, so it's now 12, 11, they've got 19 minutes just to get this low. Um, I guess you try to say this is bottom, but it doesn't look like it. I mean, sellers are here, man. Sellers do not want to see, you can see it in the market, right? Sellers do not want to see the end of month. So today's February 27th, right? Let's look at this like rationally here. February 27th. In no way, shape, or form do uh, sellers want to see a close above 408, 410. They in no way want to see a close above 402, 403. And the sooner that they can get underneath uh, the weekly and monthly moving average, the door is open for March to trade to much lower lows. Um, so you're, you're, I'm assuming this is, I'm going to assume at this point the past few days, like Thursday, Friday, I think I was talking about it on Twitch where I was, or not Twitch, but on uh, Twitter where I was like, uh, they, if they can't get it under, they will try to do it in, uh, low, in, in low volume environments. So if you can't do it in cash market and you're a bank, you're going to try to sell real money selling, regardless of what the options market is saying. They're going to try to sell as best they can uh, to into end of month, right into the 28th, right in that close. They want to be underneath the weekly the monthly and open that trap door to lower lows in March, regardless of what the market wants to do. Uh, you will see that happen or you'll see the attempt to make that happen. The EU's energy uh, commission the Simpson by, by the says the EU the extended the gas by, demand by 6 cut PM. target. Uh, there's no regret <laughs> option. By 6 p.m. on the 28th, you, the, the, these sellers want to see that lower number. Absolutely. 100% sure. Positive on this. So they'll do their damnedest. <laughs> Uh, I've ever kayaked. I, I can't stand. I've got two kayaks. Uh, but I can't like I like uh river rafting. I've done uh I've done the Green River, the Colorado, I've done uh the Confluence, I've done the, the trip through Moab. Uh I don't I can't stand like flat lake kayaking. River kayaking is a blast. Uh I don't have huge shoulders, man. Uh so it's not completely me, but I do, we do kayak, but it's all, it's all like basic kayak and nothing, nothing crazy. As a matter of fact, I wanted to take the kids to, um, to kayak, or not kayak, but white water raft, uh, oh shoot, wherever Pigeon Forge is this spring, whenever their high flow rate is in April or so. I'm going to take the kids to Washington, D.C.,
Yeah, I, I've uh, I uh, let's see if the Bulls can turn it around here, man. <laughs> There's now uh, two hundred and fifty thousand calls on four hundred C. They were twenty two cents. I don't know if I should just add to four hundred. I don't think I want to add to four hundred one. It looks like they're gonna fucking torch them. I'll be honest with you. So any kind of rip higher here. Hold on here. Well, on two different uh, computers. Any kind of rip higher here, I'll try to sneak out of, uh, try to save my ass and whatever I can. Uh, let me look at Brad Murder real quick. MRNA. Ooh, dude. Moderna's about to blast off, Winky. Moderna's about to squeeze, bro. You're about out of squeeze right now, Moderna. The hourly is rolling higher right now, Winky. Trading 135.36. Uh, price target above on MRNA of... Hold on, hear me look, man. Uh, looks like it's about to squeeze. Hold on here. Uh, Winky, if it can trade above 138.49 and hold 148.39 or 138.49, if it can trade above 138.49.50, somewhere in there, if it can hold that price, hold that price, uh, look for 143 flat. 143 flat on MRNA. If you wanted another place for a hard rejection, 144.06 currently. It's likely going to come down. And then if you're looking for a price above that, it's uh, 162, call it 162 flat on MRNA. So three numbers. You have to hold current price. And then break above 144 and hold it. And then you can possibly trade uh, 160. Uh, I don't know if you'll get 162 by the time you get there. Probably 160 on MRNA. Yeah, breakneck beach, Hawaii, four uh, to 10 foot waves. Yeah. Yeah, broke breaks on the short. Does that too in California. That's why. I, uh, so California is my, my all my friends that body uh, boarded were in California. That's where it's insane. They bre it breaks right on the shore. You know, another cool one I did was I took um, I took a river trip once where uh, we lashed, uh, we lashed, you know what a cool river trip is? I, we lashed a, uh, we had two canoes. Oh, that's a bad canoe. <laughs> we took two canoes like this. And uh, just like this. And then we built like a uh, crossboards, and then like a platform here. Uh, you could sit anywhere you wanted on each side. I guess that th that's not really covered right there. And th that was a blast. Uh, so you could put like uh, chairs and stuff, and coolers, and you could sit in any of the uh, super stable like a catamaran, and uh, th that was a blast. Bears gonna drop the ball. Uh, well, there's a trade here. There is a trade between here and here. If we can stay above, pr if price can stay above right here, there is a quick trade here. Uh, price would need to stay above. You could put buys a buy here and uh, tight stops down below here, and probably get to right here. And the next trade above that is right here. The two trades right here. It's now 12-19. Uh, Bears not able to put it together so far.
400 C's now trading 26 cents. They were 22 cents a little while ago. Wife get back gets back in late April. And we're thinking of Denver and Cali for the Redwoods. Uh, I would recommend. You know what's really cool? Uh, like places you want to see out west for sure. I can't miss. Um, can't miss out west in summertime. Oh, April it's places you can't miss in April. Can't miss um, White Rim Trail in Moab. You can pr you can, might be able to get some camping spots for that. They're all um, you have to request them way in advance but if you can request them now people make the requests right now for those trips the white rim trail do that one another cool one for vacationers is zion national park uh that's that's down in utah as well and then i wouldn't go to the redwoods i'd go to san diego and surf uh i would surf like uh, san alijo san onofre camp right on the beach and eat donuts and tacos and rent cheap surfboards. Probably that's what I'd recommend. And I, if you really wanted to, I guess you could drive up the coast to the Redwoods, but probably the trip for April. Trip for April is, pr trip for April is probably uh, southern Utah and then southern California. If you can get whitewater trip in, in, in Moab, that's badass because that's when mo their high water runs is in April. And there's a ton of uh, seasonal, um, uh, like, like uh, athletic people that like to spend time down there. So it's packed during that time of the year. They get some great, and they got a great mountain bike trip down there too. In Colorado, they've got the um, Colorado's got the uh, oh shit, where is it? Hold on, I have to look it up. Um. Oh, what's it called? It's in the book map mountains. It's a it's a really good oh uh, Bruda Fat Tire Festival. If you can go there, that's badass too. So I guess if you if you wanted to go somewhere, you'd you'd probably like fly into uh, I think it's Grand River, not Grand River, it's Grand. I don't know where it is. Somewhere out western Colorado. You go to uh Bruda Fat Tire Festival. Then go down and do the White Room Trail. You can mountain bike that. Or rent some Jeeps and do that. And then you go out to surf in California. Great April trip. Stop in Vegas for a couple nights. Yeah, Grand Junction. Exactly Grand Junction. 12.22. Eight minutes left for bears to get down here and hit this price target, right? Uh, trying to get down here to the daily, trying to get the close underneath the hourly here. We have one more day left in the month of February. Uh, I think we do, right? I don't think this is a leap year. Yeah, just one more day left. Make sure I'm not, not crazy. Uh, we got one more day left for the month of February. We talked about this on uh, at, uh, at Captain's Alpha. I think on Thursday, and I had said that uh, bulls need to close above 408, 410 uh, the month. They have to repair the weekly, and I'm going to show this to you real quick here. I'm going to show you ex exactly what I was talking about on, on that Captain's Elf on Thursday. And we're going to talk about this right now. I'm going to show it to you, give you a better viewpoint of this. And you can see it right here. When I posted this on at Captain's Alpha on Thursday, that bulls had a successful defense of the weekly trigger. And that's right here. So they defended this weekly trigger just fine, right? Came in, and once we got to the once we got to the hourly, right? Bears just came in, not bears, but sellers. More than what I th who I think this is is large banks. Uh, came in and started selling relentlessly heavily. Uh, they even began to sell in illiquid markets, right? In pre-markets and after hours, in ES, in futures market. These aren't dealers here. Normally they are, but these aren't dealers. 
These are banks, right? Trying to sell down, break below, and damage not only the weekly, but the monthly here. And I was talking to uh, people on at Captain's Alpha on Thursday. I made a post and I said on Thursday, this is good. Big successful defense of the weekly trigger, trigger over here. And now the Bulls have it in their court. They must, must uh, close above 408, 410 to even begin to start talking about 420. And truthfully, to get a, you, they're not going just to 420. They're going to try to get up to 430, 460 and prices like that, right? You're not going to make a run. You're not going to make a bull run to, to get above 410 only to go to 420. It's actually much higher highs, right? And what I also talked about in this, in this post was on the 28th, if they're not up here, it's very bearish on the market. Uh, and you're seeing it in real time right now. Today is the 27th. We have one more day left. And truth be told, if you start to see price here closing underneath, not just, I mean, forget about the, the hourly, the five minute, the one minute. If price begins to close under here, uh, this is extremely bearish here. When you start to see price get below uh, the weekly, I'm going to show you what happens, okay? I'm going to show you exactly what happens. Uh, when we close under there, uh, what ends up taking place? And so try to explain it uh, on a, in something that you can see in real time. Uh, what actually happens when we get underneath there, okay? So just 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 going back over here. Let me see if I can mute this for a minute. If you're like, ah, it's not so bearish, I assure you, right? Uh, this was this was ugly over here. Uh, this is back in May, right? We came back up in June, and they slammed it down. We hit 361 over here. It's a pretty significant drop. You can see it right in here. Uh, this is 12.85% after already coming down 17%. I want to show you again uh, what took place over here. The last time we did this, we got underneath. This is another 13.4%, right, underneath. And then just right here, we're already down right now. That's it. Uh, five percent or so. So if you're, let's say, let's say they close under here, we go to the thirteen percent or so. You know, you're talking about trying to get down to these levels down below here, and this is where the next trigger is, right down at thirty three hundred. So you might think this is nothing, uh, but into the end of in, in the end of March, uh, you could see uh, you could see a, a bloodbath in here into uh into march 31st and so you can see it in real time right now what's taking place do they succeed in this uh, i don't know do i do i think that they're trying to oh hell yes definitely without a doubt uh there are sellers in the market that are attempting to get that close uh into february 28th below here uh without a doubt they are um sellers want underneath uh you know that there's a jpm caller that wants us at a minimum under 406 uh i think it's 4060 maybe it's 4063 i can't remember exactly but uh, somewhere under there they want us underneath that number uh so they're going to do everything they can to sell underneath that number uh between now and the 28th watching the hourly here in the background two minutes left until 12 30 might be a time to buy some uh calls so i'm gonna i'm gonna look at these calls now and see if we can grab some of these i haven't seen the bears be able to complete an hour uh on the downside i'm still holding uh 401 c's they're at 11 cents right now they're getting destroyed but i am looking at these 400 c's there's a couple, there's a quarter million calls on them, so I'm seeing if I can make some money back here. Watching bears not be able to get a new low down below. Uh, bulls will take over here and see if they can uh, trade above this hourly trigger. We'll see if the bulls uh, can take it now and trade above that red line that you see on the screen.
Oh boy. I want to show you above here where dealers don't believe we're closing above here. Dealers are like, no, we're not going up there. So this is 400 up here. There are 250,000 calls here. So I can assure you at this point that dealers do not want to see us close above 400 right up here uh, into this close today. So definitely dealers do not want to see that happen. Unless there will be some resistance to getting above um, this red line up here. So be very careful if you are along. Yeah, hold on one second, Harry. I'm sit sitting in some, I have two sets of calls now and I have to try to get some money on some 400s. No news right now coming out either. Last that last commenting was uh, Fed Jefferson. I'm gonna see if we can get this squeeze above right now. It's kind of a place to take some money off. Uh, we will. We have a po possibility of rejecting off of this red line right here. Uh, I'm now long a fucking buttload of calls. <laughs> now trade thirty one cents. Got 13 cents on 401 C's right now. Come on. Yeah, well, I don't think we're getting above this 400 here. I don't. I don't think just by just by how many calls there are. Uh, they're going to trap all these calls for today at some point. If I can get, if I can get to right in here, somewhere in there, I'll be happy. This could wind up being an inside day. This could be a day where, uh, let me see here. Where's that poly? Could see some kind of nonsense like this in here. Believe it or not, just sideways day. It's possible. Some kind of nonsense in here at some point. Uh, there's 400 C's. There's 200 and... Call it right here. Still have gap to close down below. This is your hourly trigger. We're above it now. Sometimes, we, sometimes we'll close them, but it's not normal. Uh, that you'll see that concentration of calls close above here. It's possible. It's possible we can get up here, but not before they destroy them.
talking about the uh, book map. Book maps are great. Some of the best riding I've done. Good luck, uh, Rex Generator. See if I can see what you guys are saying. Make sure everything is up to speed. Yeah, bull's in charge right now. It's getting a nice bullish crossover right here. See if the bulls can hold on right here. You want to see the bulls hold. You want to see the bulls hold this right here in price to follow. You want to see the red get right underneath it here. Now it's 12.35. Let's see this white line come up. Yeah, I don't see the breakout. I don't see a breakout happening today. I don't see it because I don't I don't think sometimes it happens. Uh this looks more reasonable. Three ninety nine forty somewhere in there. No, I don't know that they close the four hundreds. Maybe they do. But currently they're still sitting in them, so two hundred and sixty six thousand calls at four hundred C. I can just get up to that PT. I should be, I'll be upside down, but uh, I'm still up on, like, so I'm already up today on closing calls on the opening bell, but um, I'm down pretty significantly. I'm down, down, I think I'm down a couple grand right now. So if I can make back, like, yeah, I got to look at my fucking history here because <laughs> no, I, I'm either flat or I'm slightly fucked up right now. <laughs> On l last week, I opened the week really fucked up. This week, I'm not sure yet. But if we close under here today, if we can get if we don't if we can get just up to this PT right here, uh, I'm interested in buying some calls on the close for tomorrow. Some zero dates for the 28th. So we'll see if we can get above. Or maybe even a strangle would be nice. Some really cheap calls and puts uh, for tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be an important day uh, for end of month. I'm fascinated on what happens into tomorrow's close. No, I'm looking to get out of calls somewhere in here. Somewhere in here. Uh, I think we close uh, in like kind of an inside day today, or I don't know if this is an inside day or not, but I think it's going to be, or at least it's going to be a range bound day. I wound up, uh, did well last week. I came back last week and did really well. Um, so I was pretty happy. Yeah, you like the stream better on on uh on Twitch? Yeah, we'll see how it works out. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to do both. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change. Uh, we're trying to talk to some people in the background to get other streamers and some uh some. We're trying to get someone to make. If any of you guys are if anyone out there is interested in doing a recap videos at the end of the night or something like after after market close, doing a video at nighttime and then a videos in the weekend. If you've never had experience doing those, um, I'd be more than willing to help. Uh, we're trying to do recorded videos um, Monday through Monday through Thursday, Sunday through Thursday, and some kind of maybe stock picking on Saturdays. If anyone's a great stock picker, wants to do a Saturday show, let me know. If anyone wants to, I think I think we found someone to stand in for me. 
The U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen says so far so good in the U.S. inflation battle. She's currently speaking on CNN. I think we need possibly one to two more people. And this stream is sponsored by TickStrike. TickStrike allows you to actually hear order flow in futures, forex, and stock instruments. Get a free trial at TickStrike.com. I can teach you how to uh, do video editing and uh, using uh, uh, not DaVinci, <coughs> but... Uh, Tabe says Japan's 2% inflation target not yet achieved. A simpler version of US Photoshop. U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen adds that inflation still is too high. Who's saying that? Was that Yellen saying inflation is still too high? <laughs> so far, so good in the U.S. inflation battle. <laughs> Old Yellen. Because <laughs> she kills me. She does. <laughs> in the... In, <laughs> She, I remember she was quoted at, she was quote. I think she was the, was she the San Francisco Fed president at that point or something during the GFC? And she was quoted at one of the meetings as saying, or in one of the meeting, uh, in one of the minutes, she was quoted as saying, well, no matter what, the housing market is safe. <laughs> at least we saved that. <laughs> and she did a hor horrible job of saving that. Absolutely horrible. Had no idea what she was doing. <laughs> yeah, th I, I'll be honest with you. They're going to, uh, it looks to me like today is going to be a day where they just grind everything to dust. Like none of this, look. it doesn't look like anything. I don't think you're getting a bloodbath and I don't think you're getting uh, anything higher anymore. I think this is all gone uh, at this point. It looks like, it looks to me like if you come back end of day, it's going to be this nonsense right here. That's what it looks like to me. I don't think that they're ever going to go up here and close these 400s. Maybe. Maybe there's somebody that's trying to buy these up here that's possible. Possible. Uh, but I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Then even into tomorrow, uh, this all holds true into tomorrow. So, here. Hold on here. Got this one right here. This is that pre-market. The closing low right there. Uh, but just even into tomorrow, if you if any of you guys are done trading for the day, it's twelve forty two, right? Um, if you're looking even in, into tomorrow, let's look at three ninety seven eighteen, three ninety seven sixteen, three ninety seven sixteen. So let's just get rid of this here, right? I'm going to show you what's tom what tomorrow is in store for tomorrow. Let me uh, mute this real quick. All right, hold on here. So three night. So this is still it right here. So for tomorrow, just get rid of all this. You don't even need to know this right here, to be honest with you. Only there's only really two things you need to know uh, for tomorrow. So, for tomorrow, being end of month, right? 395.63. Right here. If you're a bear or a bull, doesn't matter. This is all that matters to you. This is like the big, this is the big move right here. Show it in one hour. 
I'm shook here, right here. I want you to see it on an hourly so you can kind of see what I'm getting at here. This is an hourly chart, right? Trend chart, right? We're talking trend here. Uh, let's see if we can just get rid of this so you can see it. And you can see on the hourly, right? Traded this up nice and beautifully. Told nope. Right, bulls trying to hold on for dear life here, heading into the 28th, right? You can see trend, this major trend here. You, bulls really have no, no chance, not no chance, they have no time on their hands. So, you know, bears, or bulls coming up here, right? Boom, told no. They have to get up into end of month. They don't have a choice required if you see this smackdown into tomorrow this is uber bearish uh for the market uber so these are your levels right here that, you, that i want you to see okay and i want you to see that that these sellers are coming down from trying to come down from above and get price underneath right so it gets super bearish here super bearish down here now, do we ultimately get the squeeze higher into Friday? That's what I think is going to happen. Uh, I don't know if this is how dealers are positioned not to do this. I don't know if this happens on the 1st, on the 28th maybe, if there's a successful defense of, of uh, we'll, we'll draw this one even up higher here. Move this right here for you so you can see it. Right there. Right, need to get above these levels. Need to change this hourly uh, trend. This hourly trend change here. Right, don't want to see the cross below. Don't want to see. You don't want to see this right here. You see this right here? It's bad, <laughs> bad. You want to see this right here? <laughs> bad. I'm telling you, it's like really bad, really super. If you like super bear, you like. You're like, I'm a total bear cap. This is what you don't want to see here. Uh, you want to see this right here. See that 404, 410, 420, 430. Uh, if you want to see price do this by like tomorrow, you don't have a lot of time here. <laughs> There's not a lot of time left for bulls here. Huge monster selling above, coming in to sell down on bulls, trying to sell, sell, sell here, right? Bulls trying to fight their way back right now and trying to get above on this hourly, trying to get above 401.48. And as this crashes down, you can see who's in charge so far, right? You can see it right here. You can see who's in charge right now, right? Boom, selling, right? Came back up again, boom, selling. Uh, so no convincing move for the bulls as of yet. Nothing convincing. Bulls could not hold R2 here. Couldn't get above to get these targets out of the way. 403 just came in and rained down selling pressure on bulls. So not seeing it at this point. Uh, not seeing it into the 28th. And most certainly, if you see bears get underneath here, uh, dude, we're looking for some major lows underneath here. Guarantee it. Guarantee it's going to get real nasty down there. Absolutely. Now the closing below under here is not good for for bulls, especially not after the twenty eighth. If the monthly starts to roll and the weekly starts to roll, it's gonna get it's gonna get super nasty here. Uh, bullish right now on spy. I'm I'm long calls right now on spy, so I'm long uh, two sets. One set I'm getting torched on. Let me see if I can bring up the uh, book map here. Uh, there's there's your take for tomorrow. These are this is these are the levels you need to know. If you're a if you're a bull, you don't want to be closing underneath these levels right here. Uh, if you're a bear, you're trying to sell right above here. So this is we're gonna change this to uh, the wellers, right? We always talk about these guys, the sellers, the swellers, we call them. The swell, swellers are above right here. 
right? We tagged this PT, what well, kind of tagged that one? PT2 back here, R3 above right here. Then the sellers don't want you getting above uh, uh, 40149. But in truth, down here at 400, we've got 250 or two, 200, now 270,000 calls at 400. 270K calls, 400C. Sitting right at 400C right here. Price target above. If I can get out of calls up here, I'm be a happy guy. If I can get up just somewhere in here, let them mess around in here into this bell, and I'll probably wrap it up for the day. Uh, so that's all I'm looking for. If I can just get above here. Four hundred C right there. Take a look at. Tomorrow at 8.30, we have advanced U.S. trade balance and goods, advanced retail inventories at 8.30. Both of these are 8.30. 8.30, we also have advanced wholesale inventories. At 9 a.m., we've got the S&P uh, Cash Schiller Home Price Index. At 9.45, we have Chicago Business Barometer. At 10 a.m., we have Consumer Confidence. And then we've got at 2.30 p.m., Chicago Fed President uh, Goolsby speaks. On the 1st, we have at 9 a.m. Minneapolis Fed President uh, Kashkari speaks. We have at 10 a.m. ISM Manufacturing. And then at 10 a.m. we also have Construction Spending and Auto Sales. On Thursday, we have uh, the first real volatility, well, not real, but real volatility on the 2nd of March. We have initial jobless claims at 8.30 a.m. Uh, productivity revision at 8.30 a.m. And then at 4 p.m. we've got Weller or Waller. And at 6 p.m., we've got Kashkari. On March 3rd, at 10 a.m., we have ISM Services. And then at 11 a.m., we have Dallas Fed President Logan. And 3 p.m., Michelle Bowman. After that, into next week, uh, on Monday at 10 a.m., Factory Orders. This, uh, that's the 6th. And then on the 7th, on Tuesday, of Wholesale Trade at, at 10 a.m. Then at 3 p.m., we've got Consumer Credit. Wednesday, a big one. We've got 8.15 a.m. ADP unemployment. U.S. trade balance at 8.30 a.m. And that's at 8.15. And then at 8.30, we have U.S. trade balance. And then at 10 a.m., we've got job openings, jolts. And then at 2 p.m., we've got uh, the beige book. On Thursday, the 9th, we've got jobless claims. And then on the 10th, we have the employment report and the unemployment rate. That's on uh, the 9th, 10th. Looks like the 8th, 9th, and 10th are going to be some pretty big days uh, for the market as well. Let's see if I can see anything. I thought the 22nd was a big day. Yeah, so the, uh, that's the FOMC, right? February 20th, nothing scheduled. 21st, we've got the uh, S&P Flash, U.S. Uh, PMI uh, for services and manufacturing. Both same times. We have existing home sales at 10. Wednesday, the 22nd, we've got the FOMC minutes uh, from the February 1st meeting at 2 p.m. That's Wednesday, February 22nd. No, sorry, that's wrong. I got the wrong date here. That's March. That's February. Hold on a second here. I got the wrong fucking dates. Let me look up the next Fed meeting. Why am I thinking? Hold on a second here. Uh, Fed calendar. Keep thinking that we got something big in late March. Yeah, second here. Reading February shit. That's what we got. FOMC meeting, baby. Wednesday, March twenty second, two p.m. <laughs> now we know we usually buy the meeting right for March, March twenty second. Keep that in your in your calendars. We have a Fed meeting, March twenty second. Uh, 2 p.m. See if there's anything else I can see in here. 
Nah, nothing big. Usual stuff. So that's the big one for March. Mm. Outside of commercial paper and all the other stuff, uh, I don't see anything else in March. That's the big one. March 22nd, FOMC meeting. That's all I can see on the calendar. Yeah, March 22nd is the big one. ADP is a big one, though, too. That's next week. They like to fudge that one, I think. You need life advice? <laughs> Too funny. I just read chat. I see you're saying your lead need life advice. You don't need any life advice. <laughs> <laughs> Yelling is the worst. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'm not a fan. I tried to be a yelling fan, but I can't. I've tried I've tried and I've tried and I've tried and I just can't. Yeah, I got the white. We got the one minute crossing over the five right now. <laughs> Puts on wedding rings. <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting much out of this. Be careful on the expectation on this squeeze here. I'm not gonna expect too much. I don't like to see I don't like to see this above here. It's 400C concentration. I don't like seeing that. So, so the hourly trigger is right here. Three trigger uh, combination here, cluster. So we're in a three trigger cluster right now on the on the on the one minute, the five minute, and the hourly, and we've got the daily below. Trading 13 cents on 401 C's, trading 31 cents on 400 C's. Trading 70 cents on 399 C. Those are looking really fucking nice because they're right in the money. Three trigger cluster right now. Get out of the way if you're a bear. I guess you call it a four trigger, five trigger cluster, depending on how you're looking at it. I want to see if it happens today or tomorrow, but uh, I'd, I'd really like to see that the, the Ass Blaster 3000 coming in. Give me just one second here.
I gotta take a piss at some point here, and I'm like, I gotta take a, I gotta take a leak. <laughs> oh come on, man. He's. I mean, I'm sitting here watching this, and I'm like, I know where we're going. Stop with the drama. I feel like I'm talking to a teenager right now. Sitting here looking at this market right now. I'm like, stop being a teenager and just go there. <laughs> See, sit, we're like sitting on a what? Sit on a five trigger cluster right now. It's like an ejector seat. <laughs> yeah, an empty piss bottle. <laughs> I should keep like a gallon jug underneath the desk. <laughs> keep an uh, keep an empty jug underneath the desk so I can take a piss. I like I'm like if I gotta come back in 15 minutes and it's it's like rolled over, <laughs> like bathroom break back from bathroom break. <laughs> totally screwed. Now I'm fucking upside down five grand. <laughs> I'm like I, I like I get stuck here every day. Like every day I'm like, all right, so I'm, I'm upside down, but don't worry about it. I'll be fine. <laughs> then I end up sitting here fucking having to take a piss. Yeah, market should face rip right here. Under normal circumstances, the market would be, <laughs> if we're in a bull market right now, it'd be up like 100 points. Just blink. <laughs> Done. Nice little bullish cross right now. Bullish crossover for a rip higher. Now trading 35 cents and 14 cents. Dude, am I going to make my money back on these fucking 401s? I would, I would, I would, I will laugh my ass off if I do. <laughs> I will. I'll be honest. I don't think I'm gonna. I think they're gonna try to rob me, but if I do, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, man, dude, I'm watching this right now, and I'm just like, can you imagine just being a trader here and being like, oh, this is bad, and not knowing that there's like, a shit ton of a shit ton of velocity coming from underneath right now. All I want it to do is hit close to four. I don't even need four hundred. I just need thirty nine nine forty. I'm like I feel like I'm on the price is right. Just give me just underneath four hundred. Just, just don't even put it in the money. And then, like, you got the dealers are like, drama queens are like, ah, I can't do this. I don't want to pay anybody. It's like, come on, man. Just print it. They're like, no, we'll print it tomorrow, bro. Gotta let those 400 Cs expire worthless. <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow for you. Yeah, that's where it is, John. You see it, right? It's right there, Brosif. Right there. And it's a big one. It's got a monthly, weekly. Jesus, monthly, weekly, uh, hourly, five minute, one minute. It's only missing one more. And that's it's missing the daily. It's up at uh four oh three, dude. It's been sitting there all day long waiting to get tagged. Been, it's way up. It's not even here. It's way up here. 403 right there. Way, way up here. It's waiting. John knows what bear planes and bull planes are. Hold on. So John's talking about a, a bull plane. That's where, the, that's where that target is up there. They don't want to print it though, John. They don't want anything to do with it, man.
<laughs> John's like, boo, print the bear, or pr- print the bull plane, baby. <laughs> I think you're the only one in this stream that even knows what those are. You might be the only person. Oh, Evan, you mentioned them too? How much how many of you know? John knows what they are. Evan knows what they are. <laughs> you make the plane sound every time it does. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm struggling right now watching this. It's making my eyes bleed because you know where it's going, right? Well, if it can hold, you know where it's going. Fucking dealers, man. These fucking de- dude, I know how these dealers roll, dude. These dealers are bullshit. Bear play Jack kick gang chat. <laughs> yeah, it's killing me watching this, like making my eyes bleed. I should probably just go take a piss and come back and check instead of watching this nightmare unfold. It's not a nightmare, it's watching it. It's like you know what's gonna happen here. You know it's gonna rip face. What are they gonna do? Are they gonna let it sit here for the next hour until it rips face? Okay, so there's three of you that know what these are. <laughs> there's three of you. I see three of you in chat so far that know what they are. <laughs> I only see three of you that know what a what a bear plane and a bull plane is, are. <laughs> there's four of you. Sparky seems to know. <laughs> Super Bull Man knows what they are. <laughs> this isn't chop. <laughs> this is not chop. Well, it will be chop here in a minute if they scam it. If they scam this bullshit in here and try to pull this bullshit here, uh, they'll be trying to run a scam into the clothes. But if they run the scam into the clothes, um, that's okay. Probably it'd probably gap up tomorrow. If they run any kind of scam in here, any of this kind of bullshit in here like this. <laughs> Dude, I got to take a piss. I'll be right back. Give me like two minutes. Stream stays up if you're just joining us for the first time. I just need five minutes to go take a leak. Any of you guys want bears out there? Anybody need a bear or whiskey so you can watch this eye bleeder? <laughs> I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Two minutes. I'm going to take a quick leak. This is going to be one of those days, man. I can, I can smell it. I can smell it. It's going to be one of those days where you just say, ah, oh, fuck this. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Uh, if you guys want a bear, you got any, who needs a bear out there? Nobody needs a bear. Xanax. I'll grab you some Xanaxes. I got a jar of them upstairs. I'll be right back. <laughs> Keep those right by the bed. <laughs> it's only 10 a.m. Right, we can take. We'll take Xanax and bears right now. <laughs> Ooh. You know what? I stopped marinating my carne asada. I don't do that anymore. I just fucking, I just, like, hot fire grill that shit up. Chop it up. Now I just leave that shit for, like, toppings. I stopped marinating my carne, man. That was recent. I do the dry rub. Let's, uh, g- give me two seconds. I'll be right back. I want to talk about carne asada.
Holy shit. If any of you are in the Midwest right now, any of you are in the Midwest right now, they are, so they were bitching on, they were bitching on uh, Reddit today about losing power and, or like intermittently losing it, but we're getting another ice storm right now. It's ice storming outside my house right now. So I'm, I'm quite frustrated here. Another ice storm. So I'm like, man, I'm like, I already know how this ends. Yeah, I took a went to the I went to the bathroom and then I um have some coffee brewing right now. And just in case we trade sideways at any point, I brought down a PBR. So if we get stuck in sideways, I haven't cracked it yet. I brought down a PBR, so if they try well wait a minute, hold on here. I gotta I gotta take some money and run at some point here. <laughs> Now trade for 15 cents and 35 cents on 400 and 401 C's. Don't forget these up here. These are 270,000 um, whole bunch of calls. Now 290,000 calls on 400. Ooh. I love South Idaho. It's one of my uh I like South Idaho. I like it there. You're in Indianapolis? Yeah, we're getting freezing rain right now. I'm in Michigan. I'm in the Boston Edison district, if you know it. Or Boston Edison neighborhood. All right, so what do you guys do? Orange juice, sliced onions, a little cumin about it. Hell yeah, PBR. I'm from my west. Oh, 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 come on, baby. Give me my money, dude. Thir dude, that's 37 cents. That's it? And 15 cents? Dude, what is with dude, these dealers? Results from the Federal Reserve Corporation. You gotta be shitting me. Dude, pay me my money. Hold on a second here. Oh, yeah, baby. Dude, pay me my money. All right, I got some. I got some coffee. My daughter's. My my daughter brought me some coffee. <laughs> Thirty-eight cents right now on four hundred. C. only up to sixteen cents. They don't want to pay me the four hundred ones. They're like, you ain't getting that money back. I'm probably gonna cut those loose. Uh, as we come up into this PT above here, uh, I'll be trying to take some money off here. 39 cents, 16. One hundred and ten counterparties take two sports, one six two trillion dollars of just the kicked Federal the Reserve Corporation. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to dump these 401s, and I got 40 cents right now. And this stream is sponsored by to the tick. They're, dude, they're still daily not printing these points, things. I'm up like 100 on the four, not levels, quite 100 by signing cents. up at to the tick dot com. Um, they were 22 cents at one time. Now they're 42 cents. They're not printing heavily today, dude. All right, so I'm out at 17 and 42 on 400 C's. Uh, 
Sorry about that. Got fucking smoked on my fucking first calls. I don't even know what I was thinking up here buying calls. I'm telling you guys that the market's gonna roll over and I'm fucking buying calls, buying a dip down here. Fucking nonsense. I'm pissed off at myself right now. Not happy. <laughs> okay, so PT above still here, three ninety nine forty. See if we can get up there. Don't like this above here. Don't like four hundred thousand or three hundred two hundred and ninety thousand four hundred C's uh closing today. Typically we won't close sometimes we do close in the money. But if they rug if they rug pull those calls, maybe we'll go above. Uh but as of right now. Dude, I don't want to buy shit right there. Uh, as of right now, uh, I don't like, I don't, it, sometimes we see this happen, but it's not that frequent. It really isn't. Uh, sometimes in a month day, you will. Sometimes you'll see it like the last day of the month. You'll see them close uh, puts or calls in the money, but the day before, I don't know. That's a tough call. So I used to marinate carne asada when I used to use like flat meat and um, what's the other one? Like London broil, stuff like that. I would marinate all that stuff. I, I switched over. Now I do uh, top sirloin steaks and I'll just, I fire them at a really high temperature and then I chop them up. Sometimes I'll cook them. In, sometimes I'll chop it up into really small bits of meat and I'll get like a cast iron uh, pan to fry that shit up really fast. Uh, and then I'll throw in some fresh onion, some fresh onions at the end, but uh, basic seasoning. I do use this seasoning that I get at Trader Joe's. It's like chili lime. It's like this powdered seasoning, chili lime seasoning or something. I use that to uh, to cook up my carne asada. But even the cut of meat that I'm using, I switched up recently, like permanently. So carne asada, I just do top sirloin steaks. Nothing in St. Louis, just cold. I was in uh, Utah. Utah got hammered with snow. Are you saying that uh, Idaho didn't get hammered with snow? Are you in Idaho or no? Yeah, sawtooth are badass. That's what I used to do is flank and skirt, skirt steak. I switched, dude. I switched it. I switched. It, it's done well for me. Just try it. And you know where I get them at is, uh, you know how, I, well, how I found this was, uh, my wife, that with what my wife, so what we do about a year or two ago, someone had turned me over, turned me on to, uh, New York strips from Aldi. So I'll go there and load up on, they have these two packs and I'll load up on a bunch of them, throw them in the freezer. And, uh, my wife said that they ran out. So she grabbed these top sirloin steaks. They're like in three packs. And so they were just sitting in my freezer. And so I, I broke some of those out and I was like, I was like, okay, I was like, this is what I'm going to do. I'm like, I'm going to just I'm like, I'm just going to chop this stuff up in his little bits and pieces, throw it in a cast iron skillet. It was banging. And so now I've been throwing them on a charcoal grill and I just like fire roast them as hard as I can. And then I ch chop them up and they've been making some really good, uh, carne asada, no marinating, no nothing. Yeah, I like Boise too. Boise is a good time. What do we got? What do we got staying here? Hold on.
sous vide flank steak finished with grill is money for that yeah i like sous vide meats Syria, sriracha i've never added that to flank steak i'll try that carne asada fries are banging i love carne asada fries dude I used to never have an appreciation for San Diego until I started spending time down there. I fucking love it down there now. I used to be, I used to, I, I, I was, I was misinformed. And San Diego's a blast. And their food scene's unreal. They've got great taco stands. They've got great Navajo taco stands. They got great, um, great surfing. Like uh, nothing but, nothing but good times in San Diego. Yeah, I've done apples on meat before. Never done wish to share on flank steak. Uh, have done Montreal steak season here and there. I was surprised at how good. Um, I was surprised at how good their New York strips were. Uh, no, I'm not in calls any longer. Sorry about that. I'll I'll mute that. Uh, I'm not in calls any longer. I'm flat. Thanks for saying something. Can I tell you the indicator ranges cap? Yeah, right now um so right now we have a we have a bullish cross right here. Uh you want to know what these ranges are? It's a 21 or 27 EMA and then it's a um right today it's a 113. Got it for you, Joshua. 113, baby. 113 EMA and 27 EMA. Yeah, I wish I could automate it, right? I ha so I have, so I'm working on something in the background. I'm either going to just start showing me buying and selling calls or puts on a little screen. So you guys can just see what I'm long and sh and and uh, long in puts or calls. I don't go short in cash market. Um, if I'm day trading, it's just puts and calls. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a little screener if I can for you guys. I'm working on some stuff in the background. It's not as it seems easy to you. It's like as a consumer, it's everything seems easy. Uh, but it's just not, it's not as easy as you'd expect. Yeah, so I can, but I can't. So I trade on a, on a trade on a laptop that's not connected to the stream. Right now I've got two, so right now I've got two machines hooked up, uh, like tethered together. And if I can get one more machine... Uh, so this one can't handle that shit. So if I, I need, I can't put this one on, but I've got a desktop that, that is down right now. If I can get micro center to fix this fucking thing. Uh, this is the one that was running the stream prior to, I should be able to put it up on stream for you guys. So I just have to hook up one more. So I'm running like, um, I mean, show you these things if I can pull them out. I can't pull it out from here, but I've got these uh, Elgato. Sorry, I'm slamming a bunch of shit in the background. I'm, I got a bunch of like E60 Elgato video capture cards. And I'm like, I've got them like tethered between machines. So at some point I'll have this other machine uh, ready to go for you. It, it won't be long. Just got it. It just, I, so I dropped off, I think three laptops. And I'm and I when I go back I'm gonna drop this. I tried to have a guy fi a guy fix my desktop for me and he didn't do it well. Uh, but I did find something else out about my desktop. When it went down, I had hooked up an expensive uh, surge protector to it, and I think the sur I was reading a forum that was claiming that the surge protectors are. Uh, killing the um uh, the internal battery and then fucking up the uh, clock inside in the bios even though i tried fixing that myself and it didn't work uh, but there's something going on with um with part with surge protectors and desktops 
So I think that's what happened. Yeah, I'm going to try to enter. I want to enter for a squeeze tomorrow. I have a feeling that we're going to squeeze uh, for end of month. Well, not a feeling. Not a feeling in any way, shape, or form. My guess here, if I had to guess here, is they're going to try to kill these calls in the close. And uh, they'll bleed this market into the bell here today. If I had to guess, like if I'm going to take an educated guess here, they're going to bleed this into the close. Uh, you're going to get your squeeze up tomorrow before anyone's in calls for tomorrow. And then it'll come back down into the bell at 400. That's, that's my guess. I could be wrong here. There could be one other situation where they, where they smash it down, kill all the calls into tomorrow, and then they bring it back up right into the bell. So, I mean, there's some, to me, this looks like dealers. If I, if I'm looking at this, it's like, what should be happening and what isn't happening is is dealers. The dealers are like, fuck you, we ain't paying none of this. And we're gonna park this right to four hundred on the on the close tomorrow for call for call spreads for someone. And it's not just that, it's so there's there's some issues with so there's two issues well, there's a couple issues. The first issue is uh, if you if you know enough pieces of information about me and you call up and say this is what I'm positioned in right now, uh, you can probably get through my brokerage. Uh, any do you guys know about like it's like two or three in pieces of information you're in, uh, and if you can back it up with a screenshot, uh, it would be an easy way to get in. And then another issue that I have with it is when I first started streaming. Uh, I would make the mistake of showing my entire screen with my brokerage account numbers and shit. So like I would like I would be flipping back and forth between screeners, and I'd be like, okay, here you go, check this out. And I'd be like, oh shit, there's my account number. People would be in the chat going, dude, you're showing everything. And so that's why I keep it on a separate laptop now. So it's there's no way for me to fuck this up. Like you think you're fine, and then the moment you get all this shit connected, you're like, ah, oh, I fucked this up really bad. So there's like all kinds of other shit I don't talk to you guys about. I used to reveal, I used to fuck it up all the time. I used to be like, here's my entire account. Yay. <laughs> and now I don't. I've been told not to, so I'm told it's better not to. Uh, what's the logic? Spreads. Uh, spreads and where we are. Just right here, you can, so right now under normal circumstances, so under normal circumstances, we should be squeezing to the fucking moon right now. There's some people in this stream that know that we should be squeezing relentlessly right now. The only reason that we wouldn't be right here would be real money selling into this or like high volume selling. Uh, or dealers that are Just keep in mind, UK's PM Sinek at the moment currently a briefing MPs on the Brexit settlement. <laughs> you, there's some people here in this stream that remember those days. Don't think that there aren't people here that remember when I first started streaming. <laughs> there are people here that remember. <laughs> they used to call me out for it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out a way to do this. I'm trying my best here. I'm doing stuff in the background. <laughs> Trust me, I'm trying. We should be. Whether you know you you may not know this, but we should be squeezing relentlessly right now. <laughs> I've had this happen. You guys have never heard this story. 
I've had I've been broken into before. It's not the first fucking time. So and I didn't realize how easy it was. It's so easy. Oh, really? What is it? What do I need to know? You need to know your name. UK's PM's tonight. Need to know your wife's on the Brexit information. Is on the just her name. Interested. If you're married, and then I probably need a social security number. Not too hard to find. Done. <laughs> Fucking done. It's pretty simple. <laughs> Check my DMs. <laughs> it's it's fairly fairly easy. I did freeze my credit though. I was told that if I freeze my credit, that'll help. So I, I've been given a bunch of instructions as to what I have to do. My my attorney has instructed me as to what I need to do at this point. So I froze my my credit's frozen now. Perm not permanently. I can take it on and off whenever I want, but there's a bunch of stuff that I've had to do. Yeah, they're they're they're. In, this is intentional right here, hundred percent. <laughs> we should just consolidate everyone on Twitch. Some people like YouTube, man. Some people like YouTube. I'm I'm down with YouTube. I'm down with YouTube and Twitch. We'll do them both. Yeah, I haven't looked yet on tomorrow's um I'd like to look tom on tomorrow's um I haven't looked at all at tomorrow's call and put structure. See where they're con well right now, so four hundred C. So for tomorrow we've got uh four hundred C's, hundred and two thousand. So markets pinned here right now um, for today and tomorrow. Or not pinned here, but it doesn't want to print 400C. Uh, and if it does, it's going to print them into, into they're going to grind them down, right? We've got 100,000 calls on 400C for a dollar thirteen for tomorrow. So a dealer's job for tomorrow is to, to turn those down uh, for like 10 cents, 20 cents into the bell tomorrow. Somewhere in there, right? Like 10 cents, 7 cents, somewhere in there. Uh, so the more that they can pin all this, the better off they are. They need to get rolling puts or calls into the market uh, for tomorrow. And without seeing that happening, uh, dealers are in charge at that point, right? Unless you see real money buying, real money selling, and that kind of shit. Uh, right now, currently, we should be squeezing. Like we're we're at this place where we should squeeze like major squeezes uh, in the market. We're not seeing it, so <laughs> only the conformer to deny that I have a date of birth, a bank account, and a brokerage account. Uh, no, actually, I didn't do so bad. I just made a um, I just made a fuck ton of money on four hundred ones, uh, and four hundreds. I did good. Well, for ones I made, I got trashed. I was at uh, I was at uh, in for about I think sixty six cents or something, and then I got out at seventeen or eighteen cents, something like that. And then I was in uh, some four hundreds that printed a hundred percent, so I'm doing quite well. And I sold uh, some calls on the opening uh, bell this morning. I did very well in two. So I'm doing I'm doing fine. I think I gotta take another piss or something. We don't know YouTube a thing. Yeah, this is a nice run right here. Uh this was a good run right here. It was a nice little run right here. I'm going to consider that as, as, as tagged as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we know that they're not going to want to close this up here, right? We know that they don't, this is like a uh, like an anti-magnet, right? Uh, they don't even want to get up here. And if they do get up here, what do they want to do? 
So they're going to grind, 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 and then possibly squeeze it up into this bell. Sell down overnight. Uh, but we have crazier things happen than to uh, end a month. So we'll see where we go. We'll see what the end of the day late leaves us. Yeah, I think the I think the grind is on for today. Hundred percent. I think the grind is on for today. Haven't drank the PBR yet. It's still sitting over here unopened. Oh, you know what I did get? I got a. I haven't. So uh, so this is what I did. I got a. I got what did I get? I got a. Wh where is it? That's over here. Where the fuck is it? Oh yeah. I got I got a pipe. I got a little I can't know if you can see it or not. I got I got a a smoking pipe. Uh for tobacco. No, mind you, I don't smoke. I don't know if I'm gonna turn this into a bubble making pipe. Or if I'm going to actually smoke tobacco out of it. <laughs> it's got a little cool little filter in here. I don't, I don't, my, my wife might get pretty pissed off at me. Uh, I've never been a uh, tobacco smoker. Uh, but I did get the pipe. And, uh, I've got some, some nice bourbon. And I was going to, so it's, it's like forming up right now. We have Theta Gangs all over this. Theta Gang's like, fucking, Theta Gang is murdering this trade right now. Some sweet ass zero date flies in the market right here. Oof. I got a pipe and I got um, some nice whiskey, some bourbon. Expensive bourbon. <laughs> Very expensive. <laughs> Wait until you see it. And, uh, I got a, um, I was gonna do, uh, like, a, I was gonna do it, uh, what was it, I was gonna call it, uh, uh, I forgot what I was gonna call it. I got it written down somewhere. It doesn't matter. Uh, but my favorite books, the ones that I actually like, I'm gonna do, uh, like a review series on them where, these are like uh, market books that have helped me. And I'm going to do them so that... Uh, do we get a bear plane here or what? I might grab some puts. We might get a bear plane here. I'm going to actually target this. We'll see what happens. We might get this, down, this downward into the close. We'll see if we can get it. I want to see a rejection off of 385.75. 397 or a buck for today. Hold on here. I had some uh, calls set up, but I didn't. Okay, sevens. Hold on a second. Here. They're all fucked up. Okay, so. I, I want to do this uh, review series, like book review series. I'm looking at uh, 397Ps. They're 19 cents. They're kind of dangerous. Uh, I'm looking for a cross here. So if I do this book review series, my thought process here is that I want to see this cross here just like that. I want to see price get underneath here. See if we can attack back down here and get these 397s going. Watch this here. <clears throat> Fuck me, man. Eight thirty one.
There's some buyers right there. This is like dog shit trading right here. Uh, there's some buyers right here. The, uh, this, so what I would do is this, is I'll pull some books that I have out of my library. I'll review them. Uh, I'll get a short review on them. Uh, the cool part about it is that I'll smoke the pipe and I'll drink some bourbon as I read off a passage or two to you. <laughs> Still flat right now. Well, uh, so I'll read off these books. Uh, to you in a like a recorded video and I'll start out by reading the worst reviews of these books like these this book sucks for this reason of course I like this book and so we'll find out why people don't like these books I'll read two or three of the worst reviews from Amazon or Goodreads or something and then we'll, we'll review why I like the book uh, against what other people are saying right kind of like a contrarian thing most of these books, though, are well loved. Uh, they're uh, traders, investors swear by them as you know Bibles that they read or have read. Uh, but we'll read the bad reviews. Right here's that first level right now. It's coming into. Want to see it get underneath this iron, this yellow box right here. We want to next target down below is 397.15. Same target, nothing's changed down here. Uh, those 397s now trade in 26 cents. I'm not at them yet. I want to make sure that this, this plane is right. This one's going to do it. I want to see the rejection here. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm on uh, 397 P's for 28 cents.
I actually just read a I just read a new book this weekend. I'm not a um I'm not a fan of it. I'm not, not a fan of it. I'm not um like I understand it's it tries to discuss uh stochastics when they don't behave as you expect them to. And they're trying to relate it to how animals behave. So if you have baseline stochastic modeling, um, and if you like look at a stochastic model when it doesn't fit uh, your expectations over a period of time, like a year or two, something like that, uh, and how to how to um, improve your modeling, it would be the best way to describe it, based upon how animals act. Just watching Vix over here to see. Uh, watching Vix in the background. Vix can find some support here. We should get a bloodbath at some point. Uh, if not now, at some point ahead, we'll look into it for for the close here and get a nice little bloodbath down here at some point. Might trade up and and cross over and touch this this white line, but it doesn't matter. Let's see if Vix can hold it hold it together above. If Vix can hold. Uh, 2106 or so. And this should get kind of bearish here at some point. Yeah, it's not it's it's a uh, behavioral science for uh animals, not for humans. It's right here. I don't know if you can see that. See that on stream. So it's uh, models of adaptive behavior for the animal kingdom. Models for adaptive behavior. Uh, it's very archaic. Not archaic. It's... Uh, so I, I look at uh, uh, Elliott Wave fractals, and uh, some of the modeling is good, and some of it's horrible. And so looks like back in the 90s or something, they were trying to uh, get better modeling. And... Um, I don't know. It's complicated stuff. It, it's too it's too complex for my dumbass mind. I'm, I'm like getting parts of it, and other parts of it, I'm I'm very lost. Some of the math, I'm very lost on. Yeah, I'm looking for I'm looking for a rejection here in this white line. Ah. So I'll show you guys what I'm looking at here. I want to see Vix. This is Vix, by the way. I'm looking for Vix to come up like this. Is that VIX? So I want to see if we get this rejection right here. Stop me out somewhere up in here. That's what I'm looking for. We'll know quick if I get stopped.
Yeah, Stokes can stay pegged above 80 or below 20 sometimes. That's where the problems lie, Troy. You're going to finally fucking squeeze this thing up or what? All right. I'm now in calls and puts here. I've got calls and puts both sides. Got 400 C's, 397 P's. 10 pack of both. Come on, 400 C's, baby.
Got Vic's falling off the side of a side of the earth right now. Dude, this is making my eyes bleed. Watching this is killing me, and I'm watching the Vicks come back up underneath, too. Oh, fucking it. Dude, if, if we come back down here... If we come back down here, we'll only do this bullshit here. It's going to be insane. Like, just print the fucking top side and roll back over again. Should have just put a... What I should have done... <laughs> what I should have done is put on a fucking... A fucking... What do you call it in here? A fucking wide... um. A fly into the end of the day, without a doubt. Just put a fly on the market and be done with it. The 400 side was trading 32 cents. Now it's trading 30 cents, 31 cents. But uh, puts are getting destroyed right now. I'll hold those in at the close. If I, I think I'm going to catch both sides in this trade. I think I'm going to catch both an upside and a downside. I think I'm going to catch this one and then that one. It's kind of nonsense, but whatever. Now trading 32 in the call side. 35, 34. A little bit more. Need one more. One more. A little bit more. 37. 36. I got a sell order in for 37 cents on uh, 400C. I don't know if it's going to get filled. I just got filled on it. Still long puts for uh, 397Ps. That was a pretty good trade on the, on the call side. Call side's not 40 cents. I'll see if this rolls over here if it c continues to trade higher. Remember, you've got all these calls up here at three ninety or two hundred ninety thousand. We're actually now three hundred thirty-three thousand calls at four hundred C. Still along the put side. So we can get the hang of this uh, updating where I'm at on the screen. Take a look at Tesla real quick. Yeah, Tesla is still screaming higher. Um, uh, Tesla, it's not, you know, it's fine that Tesla's going up. It's that the Martin spy is pinned right now. Um, Tesla's still bullish here. Two trading 208.68. Uh, retesting its high. Still wanting to go higher here. The problem here isn't, it isn't Tesla. It's the fucking, it's the fucking dealers on spy right now. So Tesla's cranking right now, but SPY is just lagging.
Test is now trading 208.59. Still price target above, hasn't changed. Uh, 218, 220 is still on board for Tesla. I don't know that SPY will show this though. Uh, sometimes you'll see that divergence into the close, so you'll see like HYG going up, you see SPY get pinned. They won't squeeze it until the end of the day. They had another uh, bunch of calls on 400, maybe. There's another 20. Fucking dealers, man. Pissing me off to no fucking end right now. Fucking options market. If we can get down here, I'll grab some more calls. If I can, we can get down here one more time, I'd be interested in that trade right there. But as for the moment here, Four hundred C's, thirty-seven cents. They got no vig on four hundred one either. Move my cursor over for you. I don't want to buy calls here because I don't want a quick reversal. I don't want to see some kind of nonsense like this where it's like a tweezer. If you're in calls right here, uh, just think about pre-setting a sell of it 400. Uh, let's say if you're in foreign C's, maybe you just, they like, well, if they print 30, 42 cents, let's say, and then they fucking reverse, you're going to be trapped. Check the five minute real quick. What is that? Three ninety eight seventy two. Three ninety eight seventy two. Such bullshit, man. And I'm watching Tesla crank in the background right now. It's making me fucking more pissed. I'm going to try to cut these puts. Oh, dude, no, 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 no.
I'm going to try to enter some more calls for this rip. This is utter fucking bullshit here. Okay, I'm going to sell my puts here. I'm going to look to go back long on calls. I'm pretty fucking pissed off here watching. All right. I'm in long on 400C. I'm a little pissed off right now because I'm watching fucking Tesla in the background. I'm watching fucking Tesla in the background. I'm watching HYG. I'm watching the fucking VIX. And meanwhile, Spy doesn't want to fucking rip, which is utter fucking bullshit. <laughs> Pretty pissed off right now. <laughs> now, so give me a sell. Trading 42 cents on 400 C's. I'm pretty upset right now because I'm watching fucking HYG. Someone mentioned it in the in the stream, and I'm watching it right now. I'm also watching Tesla and Apple right now, and these are main drivers of the market. Apple's just screaming higher right now, and meanwhile they're fucking limp dicking. Sorry for swearing on stream. They're limp dicking spy right now. They don't want to see these print above. I'm pretty I'm pretty upset right now with SPY. I'm upset with the options market on SPY right now, and specifically fucking dealers. <laughs> I'm a little pissed off right now. If they're gonna pin this bullshit here, uh, if they're gonna pin this bullshit, I'm gonna take my toys and go home or something. Because <laughs> I'm like, I, I can't stand when this happens. Can't stand it. it drives me insane. It's utter fucking bullshit. I'm watching it. Apple's coming down a little bit. It's at 141.72, but it's super bullish here. Uh, Tesla's super bullish here. HYG is, HYG is basically like right up here, and price has not followed yet on SPY, which you know it will. Uh, it's either going to do it now, it's going to do it at the end of the day, it's going to do it tomorrow, it doesn't matter. That's utter fucking bullshit. This is like straight dealers not wanting to print fucking calls. So it, it makes me rage when this happens. Super rage, super angry, super pissed off. These are the main drivers of the S&P 500. So and I haven't even looked at SPX yet and I haven't looked at ES, but I'm assuming that both of those are cranking right now. I'm going to assume that they are. Uh, SPX is loaded and ready to go. ES is already there. ES has already exploded higher. So ES is already showing it. SPX is not showing it yet. SPX is still like on the launch pad waiting to go. Tesla with a new high right now. Come back to test. It's uh, one minute at 208.23 on Tesla.
It's, it's the kind of thing where it's like, do you just watch? You just sit here all day long, and they run it up into the bell over here, or some kind of nonsense. It's kind, of, and it's the kind of dog shit that you don't want to be trading. So I don't know. I don't know what to say on this. Other, other than dealers not wanting to pay fucking any of this shit, right? They don't mind putting it there at some point, but they're not going to put it there while they're while they're trying to print it. Or without printing the options. So now I'm getting fucking pissed off. Let's check this last test here in Tesla and see if it can hold up and see if an Apple can hold up. Tesla with the test just a moment to go on 208.36. See if it squeezes higher. It's trying to squeeze higher right now. Apple retesting its one minute right now as well. Yeah, Mark, it's, it's not acting irrationally. It's just it, all this is right here is option trying to burn options. All it is. It's not irrationally, it's it's literally trying to not print. And I fucking closed my puts already, so I'm fucking pissed. Uh, I should have I, sh I should have held on to them and just held both sides. Cause this is the nonsense we're going to deal with here into the into the end of the day. It's enough to make me it's literally enough to make me not want to trade the rest of the day and wait to see where we wind up here in the end of the day and maybe grab some calls for tomorrow. Try to catch a squeeze in either direction. It's, li it's literally hold both sides. Don't bother selling and you print both sides right now. Check the five minute real quick. Yeah, see him just coming back down and just slamming back down to this five minute down here. Just can't, don't even want to deal with this shit. I'm still long calls in here, so we'll see if we can catch this this ripper into the into the bell here. Still fucking bullshit though. <laughs> the worst part is too. Uh, they try to dump this shit over into tomorrow. It's gonna be dog shit. Might actually add some puts. Give me another 10. I'm going to do both sides right in the bell. I got calls and puts on both sides here. Back into calls and puts. Don't care where we go. Um, at this point, either side gets printed from up or down. I'm just going to take the money on both sides. Every time we trade back here, uh, hold on, long puts again too. So every time we trade down into this into this zone right here, I'm just gonna print each side. Every time we come down here, I'm gonna take the money. Every time we come up here, I'm gonna take the money. Seems to be working.
Yeah, I don't think it matters at this point. Like Theta Gang being the enemy, like in here, it doesn't matter. If we roll down, take the money. If we roll up, I'm going to take the call side. Each, each side, I don't care. I did pretty well on some calls up here, and then I cut some puts loose over here. I should have left them on. Uh, they would have been printing already here, so either side is going to print uh, over and over again, I think, into the bell here. I don't think it matters. Look at, look at this. Look at this in here. Earlier where I was showing you that we could trade this bullshit into the bell, and it's exactly what we're doing. No change. And then I'm watching, like, I'm watching... Tesla just rip face, Apple rip face, ES ripping face. Uh, SPX not doing shit or wasn't doing shit. So SPX was. And if you look at it, SPX up here, it was just teed up to rip face and didn't. I don't know if you're trading SPX out there, but SPX dog shit. And what's insane is I'm sitting in 398Ps right now and they're printing like crazy right now. One more tag below here and I cut the put side loose. Now trading 42 cents, 43 cents. Uh, I got 41 cents on them. Still in calls right now. Now just long calls. Unfucking real. I fucking hate trading both sides like this. This is like Nightmareville. Tesla still staying alive right here. See if Tesla can hold on. Tesla's got two levels to hold, 208.52 and 207.20. Not following along with SPY right now. Uh, Apple's sitting on kind of a cliff here. See if Apple can hold on. HYG is holding its five minute right now, so not really saying much. It's wild, too, because from <laughs> from 1130, from way back here, I mean, from 1130, right up to, right up to here, fucking HYG is just monstered up here. Just straight monstered.
can just see it here. This is this is HYG here. You just see it, right? Just coming up here, sold it down, sold it down, did it again, slammed it down. Coming back up right now. This is what the Bears are looking for, right? You just tee off this 75 bucks. Uh, Bulls need to get above this 75 bucks right here. This is HYG. Can't really take a bull trade unless there's a squeeze above 75.40. Uh, but this whole squeeze here, at least to get rolled over, none of it's happened. The key point here, too, is we're trading above. Uh, the hourly right now, very bullish on HYG right now, but just not getting that push up that, that HYG needs to get above here. Uh, and price is not showing on HYG right now. It could be foretelling uh, the market rolling over at some point. But, you know, SPY is bullish, man. Like, just looking at this right here, SPY is extremely bullish. Um, you know, Spy's telling the story to expect a squeeze to get up higher here. 402.50 uh, sold down on the 23rd. That's way up in here, you know? See how high this is? Way, way up in here. You know, looking for that huge squeeze higher here. And it's just been, you've just been told, nope, nope, you're not getting up there. Uh, and meanwhile, it's just it's just telling you that we're going there. Pinned by the calls in the market right now. It's almost the same setup as Thursday, right? Does this remind you of Thursday here? And I remember, you guys, when we're trading Thursday, I think we're trading Thursday into Friday close. And it was the same setup, right? Pretty much the same setup. All right, they grind this all the way up here. We don't quite get to this level. Like right in here, they come in and just slap it right back down again. Remember Thursday close, wake up Friday morning, and we're lower again. And the crazy part is I'm long calls here. So like the put side's printing. Now we'll watch the call side print more than likely. Just buy both sides in the middle and you pick them off as we go higher and lower. Yeah, Thursday was Thursday was the same way, right? We we just slammed straight up. We just blasted off up here. They were just sitting up here waiting to sell it. But it does beg the question, right? It begs the question if if we squeeze up in cash market here, you can't really hold shit into Friday, or not Friday, but tomorrow, it's Tuesday. So if we squeeze up into this, 
the expectation, I guess, so noting would be the NYMEX natural gas April open futures settle at two dollars and seventy three. So if we have all of these, this stream is sponsored by To the Tick. Get free daily pivot points, Fibonacci, and market profile levels by signing up at tothetick.com. A lot here. NYMEX gasoline March futures settle at two dollars and thirty six a gallon. And now NYMEX WTI crude April futures settle at $75.68 a barrel. That is down 64 cents or spot 84% on the session. So if we squeeze up in here at all, you expect this to get sold down, right? Same kind of nonsense again tomorrow for tomorrow's expiry. Something like this, if it even happens. If we sell off into the bell down here... Uh, you'd be buying it. And right? I'm next. Diesel be March futures settle at two dollars and eighty-one a gallon uh, into tomorrow, if that even happens. So you're you're just basically waiting to buy rips. Uh, from anywhere down here, or if you're stuck in here, not stuck, but you end up buying calls and puts. Buy a call side, buy a put side, and every time you go up here, you sell them for money. Same thing down below on the put side. Not much has changed with this. Like you can see it even back here, right? Even back here, it was buy the dip down here because we got so low, rips fucking face. So if it gets anywhere down here, you're buying it. Or at least on at least in terms of zero dates. Or selling the selling puts down below, taking profit on calls above. This is this is killing me, man. Just looking at this is a, is a, it's not a disaster, but it's I'm still sitting in calls right now, and I don't know what to say here. Like, there's a high probability of them printing. <laughs> this is kind of wild. Yeah, it should have it should have squeezed. This whole thing should be one big squeeze. And it's looking bearish right now, but I mean, what's underneath right here? The the support that's underneath the market right here, it should just be blasting. And the more time we spend here, the more squeezy it becomes. Like the longer time, the longer we spend here, the longer these these weeklies and, and monthlies are moving up. And price isn't following other uh, like individual tickers. That's the other problem here. And the Tesla's holding its one minute like no problem at all. Uh, Apple, same thing. Apple's ho Apple's trading higher right now. Apple's trading off its one minute right now. Keep an eye on uh, BBBY right now. B 
BBY it looks like it could squeeze. Trading a dollar forty five. I might buy some BBY here. I'm close. I'm going to look at BBY. 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 Maybe not. So they've got 20,000 calls on $2 on BBBY. So that's probably pinning for March 3rd. They're five cents. They're almost worthless. Yeah, that's a good price right there. Any guys looking at that out there? So $2 calls are five cents. The 150 calls, $1.50 calls for March 3rd. There's some commentary cents. from the U.S. State Department who say that China has been anything but an honest broker in the Ukraine-Russia peace effort. Man, those are dirt fucking cheap, too. Only 11 cents. I don't see it going to two bucks, but dollar fifty calls or eleven cents on uh on BBBY. They're dirt cheap. Dirt fucking cheap. Come on here. Completely fucking pinned market. Do you see this? Just wild. No, they don't move in the same. Yeah, I'm watching VIX too. I got VIX open. I got Apple Spy open. Brent crude futures settle at $82.45 a barrel. That's down 71 cents or 0 0.85%. Makes you wonder if they're gonna if they're gonna pin BBBY until the third of March. That would be wild. And the March tenth are only seventeen cents on uh, one one point five calls. Dirt fucking cheap too. March 17th are dirt cheap. Those are so for 150 call or 150 $1.50 cent calls for March 17th are 23 cents. Some weakness in Tesla end of day. Uh, trading below its one minute at 205.56. Now trading down, looking for 207.55. Hold on here. Sorry, I'm trying to. I'm, I've got some fucking spy calls I got to go check on. God, this is brutal in here. 
Straight fucking brutal. Let's look at the five minute on Spy. Getting pretty bearish in here. Get a bearish crossover on the Spy real quick. Just zigzag back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Tesla tagged its five minute down below. Just grind. That's all this is, is grind. Just brutal. Watching Tesla stay here to see if it gets a bearish cross or not. Uh, still no, sh not still not showing it yet. Grab some of these calls. Looking at uh, 398 Cs, they're 52 cents right now. See if I can grab some of these. We got a 10 pack of 400s. Trying to break through the five minute on Tesla right now. This is gonna be one of those days where my uh, my fucking counting guys gonna be like what the fuck were you doing I'm like i don't know i have no idea what i was doing <laughs> check spy real quick pretty big bearish cross right here on spy same as earlier though man one two three one, two, three, bear plane right there. Dude, you've got it right down here, 397.13.
29 is the next one. 398.29 right there. Bears want to sell God, this is making my fucking eyes bleed here. No, I could tell you that the, I could tell you that HYG looks bearish, but dude, they'll fucking send this right back down. So, <laughs> last time we were looking bearish in HYG here, we fucking ripped face from right here. So, uh, I can't call this bearish. I'll be honest with you. Literally print both sides on this trade without a problem here. All right, I think I think if we we got nine minutes left here. If we, if this market does this a little bit longer, I'm gonna crack a bear. <laughs> We're gonna do the three o'clock bear hour. Drink a bear for three p.m. because this is nonsense. I'm like, I'm like looking at HYG right now, and I'm like, oh, dude, we could easily fucking rip face from here. Just as easily rip face. And the crazy part is HYG is bullish here. Believe it or not. Doesn't matter how far it comes down, it's still bullish. Tesla's holding its five minute, the one minute's coming into it. It's a fair chance of a face ripper here, believe it or not. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a fair chance of a nice face ripper on Tesla. <laughs> And spy. HYG is still crazy bullish. Uh, Apple's kind of dogging it right now. Amazon's dogging it a little bit. Meta.
Yeah, none of this bodes well for bears, man. Like, dude, I'm looking at this shit. This is more a matter of not wanting this shit to print than anything. It's kind of wild to watch. I mean, I was like, here, it's kind of crazy. Like, we've been looking at Meta for how long now? So, let's see if we can switch these over. It's like eye bleed stuff. It reminds me a lot of December. Uh, like a lot of this stuff reminds me of a lot of this stuff reminds me of December. So this is the chart from. Uh, that we charted out for, for meta, right? I mean, just look at this. It's pretty fucking close, right? Um, we talked about price acceleration to the downside on meta. Can the, can the bears get it? And they're not getting it. At this point, they haven't got it. Um, we're not seeing price acceleration on meta, right? You're watching just screaming higher for meta uh but this is brutal i mean this is like <laughs> this is consol this looks like consolidation to me you know you, you'd be expecting you're expecting like some kind of bloodbath in here still haven't seen it still haven't seen it still haven't seen that bloodbath and man this is going back to february 2nd on meta back here. You know, you know what this looks like right here, man? I'm telling you what, dude, like, look at this. Coiling, look at that coil. You know, the last time we did that was right here. See it? Bam, 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 bam. And then boom, off and running. And what's crazy is you end up seeing, you end up seeing, um, I'll show it to you here. I'll show you here what you what you're looking for. So uh back in December what happened back in December was we thought I thought I thought <clears throat> I thought right here. Let me get us some water. Hold on. We're back in December in here. Uh, what happened was price didn't move, right? See, price didn't move. Just coiling in here. So see this little box right here? Uh, maybe it's better to show it. Same kind of a coiling action, right? See that coiling that took place in there? Well, well, meanwhile, the market underneath was just accumulating, accumul <clears throat> accumulating and accumulating and accumulating. And before price had shown itself, 
The market had been bought. You can actually see where it took place right here. Let's see it right in there. The market was just being accumulated underneath the surface, even though price wasn't showing it. So we ended up ripping face right here. And we're watching it right now happen again. Uh, these numbers were all lower this morning, so watching the same bullshit here. You know, the question becomes, do we see something like this? It's kind of nonsense right here. Price just kind of stays where it's at, and then you, know, you see some kind of nonsense move like this, and then boom, just slamming higher. It's very, in this was very infuriating. I don't know if you remember trading this. This was no fun. This was the every time it sells off, you buy it. Uh, and it, it sucked. This was brutal. Look at this. February 16th to January 5th. Three fucking weeks. Um, you do this shit for three weeks, it'll, you want to drive a bullet in the back of your head. I shouldn't, shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> what it means is you can sit here for three weeks. You know, we've already had uh, how many days of this? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Can you do this for three more weeks? <laughs> Can you do this kind of nonsense for the next three weeks where we just trade this zone? Just ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, ping pong. <laughs> and meanwhile, you're only, wa only, you're only watching in the background to see if they're accumulating or not. You'll know if they're if they're if they're not accumulating. You'll know it. it makes me want to throw up in my own mouth. <laughs> just thinking that we have to sit down here and yeah, just thinking we have to sit down here and buy this shit, and just sell this for the next for the next three weeks. So if that's the case, right? You're selling this all up here, and you're you're just accumulating down here for the next next phase of market move up. <laughs> which is kind of gross it's, it's kind of gross you gotta, I, I, mean, I can't lie to you it's the kind of thing where like you should just like drink whiskey until it's down here <laughs> then spark a doobie and let it, let it ride up That that was three weeks of gnar not gnarliness, but it it was it was a no fun three weeks, without a doubt. Just nonsense. And those three weeks, I think I remember. Like I think I remember that we'd buy the dip and we'd make money, and then we'd be like, "All right, fucking we're out of here." <laughs> It was like three three solid weeks of just just wait for the for the for the bottom of the tr of the channel. Like every time we get down here, <laughs> you just buy it. And the, and the wild part in the the wild part in this too is, uh, you can actually see them accumulating while it happens, so you know that the the bottom's not gonna fall out from underneath you. No matter what price is telling you on SPY, you know what they're doing. Yeah, I don't think you missed call spreads here. I think you're just waiting. I think you're just waiting for a low to buy. I don't think it matters when you buy it. I think you've got two more weeks. You know what the you know what the crazy part too is that the uh, the JPM collar is just below four zero six zero. So 
Imagine if they ran it like this into uh, Q3 expiry. That'd be wild. They just ran like dip buying for the next four weeks. And you just trade trade this range. If you were range bound for the next four weeks, and you'd probably say that's crazy to even think about, but we just did it. We just fucking did it uh, in December. We did the exact same thing. We were just range bound. Buy a dip, sell the rip, buy a dip, sell the rip, buy a dip, sell the rip, buy a dip, sell the rip. It was like clockwork. Go back and look at it. Some of you guys forget the, the that was five weeks of just buying a dip and selling the rip, buying a dip, selling the rip, buying a dip, selling the rip. As so, soon as the quarter was out, was near over, we started fucking ripping face. It's pretty much what it is. Uh, and, and as far as Tesla goes, the only thing you need to know in Tesla is the same as earlier, which is not, nothing's really changed with it. It's just you're trying to keep yourself, not trying, but you. Uh, trade above the five in one minute on Tesla. So you buy 207.67. Uh, and your stops are below that number right now. That's all you need to know. If you trade underneath that number and hold underneath that number, uh, you close. But uh, this is looking like, I mean, I don't know. This is looking like December. Uh, Bears need to close underneath the so as of February twenty eighth. Bears need to close underneath three ninety four. Uh, that's what they want to close under. Close under three ninety seven. Any of those numbers, uh, that's bad for bulls. And they want to break through that weekly and monthly. Have a close underneath if they can get it. Uh, but this is, I mean, just looking at this coil. It reminds me of December so much. I'm assuming in the next week or two we'll know if they're accumulating. Or if they're not accumulating the market, uh, it'll develop over the course of a week or two. You can you actually watch them accumulate or not the market. So we can actually see it happen. If we trade this into March, in a week or two, we're going to see whether they're accumulating in the background or not. It just shows itself right inside of the breadth of the market. You can actually see the rotation develop. And you see it before that price even shows itself. Huge lag, right? Is that what you're saying, Winky? That there's a huge lag? If you want a good place to buy a Tesla, right now it's at 202.03. Uh, if you're not already long Tesla. It's going to be fascinating to see. Why did that do that right there? It's going to be fascinating to see if, um, if, the, if the market gets accumulated in the next few weeks. Yeah, you can actually see. So if you guys want to know the time, it's pretty easy to do. If you watch my cursor, do you see right there where price is? Do you see that? Do you see that right there? There's the clock. You want to see where the clock is? So you can actually see it right there. If you're talking about like to the second or whatever, so you can fair, 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 get a fair, fairly good idea of where we are in time. No, it was down more. MBI was down um, days ago. 
But we're not seeing more down, are we, than the MBI? Uh, this morning it was down heavy. This afternoon it's up. So they're buying this right now. Yeah, you want to see where the liquidity is? It's right here. We're not going. Liquidity is right here, man. And they've taken down the 400 C's for tomorrow to 74 cents. So those what those 400 C's I think were a dollar 20 or a dollar 40 earlier. I can't remember. I had mentioned them earlier today that they would never let those print. Not at a dollar. I think they're a dollar 20 or a dollar 40. I'm looking at 398s right now for tomorrow. This is an eye bleeder. None of this, like nothing about this is less than an eye bleeder. This is the kind of shit where uh, if it comes down here, you just buy the dip. You look at a five day here. It's just looking at a five day down here on. Come on now. Like any of these lows down here, you just buy them. One, two, three. We saw this one on, on Friday here. It was a no-brainer. It was like, just buy it, buy it, buy it. Easy dips to buy. Looks just like, it lo looks just like, um, looks just like December. Just buy this, squeeze it higher. That kind of nonsense. I guess there's a bull trap under here. I guess the bear is like, yeah, you keep buying those dips and we'll just sell you down one of these times down here. That would be the assumption uh, into the 28th that they're going to try to sell it down. Get some blood in the market, real blood in the market. Um, other than that, though, there's not much going on in this market. It's kind of kind of the nosebleeds. Speaking of which, if any of you are uh, in Michigan or near Michigan, I'll be at uh, opening weekend with the Red Sox and uh, the Tigers. If anybody's going to be going to see that. And we still have the pin above into tomorrow at 400. So don't forget about that either. <laughs> it's kind of fucking crazy. Long calls again. <laughs> I gotta be fast. I gotta be faster here than I can do this on fucking on Twitch. <laughs> I gotta be faster. I can't. I can't. I literally can't sit around trying to set these up with you guys right now because <laughs> it's like fuck me. You guys might not be able to see this, but we're right back down on this weekly dude right here. Right back on the weekly again. Weekly telling you no, nope, nope. 
Bears need to get underneath this down below. Not trading 40 cents. Three fourteen, forty five minutes left in the hour. I've got uh, two sets of calls in my uh, bags right now for today, zero dates for today. Uh, I've just got a, a leftover bag sitting in there, and then I've got a new bag of calls. Uh, so just heading into the close today, I'll give you guys a synopsis for tomorrow, or so what I'm looking for into the close today. A couple things that I'm looking for into the close today is this. Um, I'd really like to, I don't think it's going to happen, but I'd really like to at some, like the, the, what I'd like to see is some kind of bloodbath down into this close would be my preference to buy some zero day calls for 400 tomorrow for end of month. That would be the preference uh, to do something like that because it'd probably be dirt cheap uh, to get some kind of calls for tomorrow. Now, can we squeeze up into this bell? I have no idea uh, if we can squeeze up into this bell. I'm assuming that we can. Um, Assuming that we can, if if we can't, I don't know what to say to you. Um, the expectation here is that bull bears want to close the month out. Uh, oh, not a, th no. This this I can assure you of that the bears want to close February out below this three ninety four. Uh, that is the intent. Uh, whether they do it in in after hours or tomorrow, they want to close the month under uh, three ninety five. That's what a bear wants. If you want to see lower prices in March, you want to see a close underneath this 394 tomorrow without a doubt. There's no, um, you guys can't see what I'm doing over here. Hold on here. So bears want to see this close under. This is important for bears tomorrow. They need to get underneath. Uh, hold on a second here. I don't want to get fucking closed out of my fucking calls here. So, so for tomorrow, for the end of month, this is what a bear wants. They got to get underneath. There's no other way. There's no other way about it. If they don't get underneath and close the month under 394, uh, the monthly will close on the monthly and weekly triggers will close on a high, and this will squeeze the market higher uh, into the first of the month. Uh, there'll be no no other choice for bears. This is what they got to do uh, to get lower lows. Do I think they get it? I don't know at this point. They're sure as shit trying though. They were, they started trying last Thursday. You know for sure that last Thursday, uh, this right here should have held right here. It didn't. They came in, sold it hard and heavy. They're selling it hard right here and here and here. I'm assuming these are banks. These are uh, hedge funds uh, that do not want to see this market go higher. Unless we get someone to step in here, uh, the sellers are in charge here, right? They want to sell this down. They want to get a low in the quarter. We haven't had a low in the quarter yet, uh, so it does make some logical sense that we would. Uh, try to continue down and catch a low or at least close under 
4060. Uh, so it makes sense to go under here. It makes sense to trade lower from this point. So that's the stance that you have, right? Now, the market breadth is not showing this happening. I want you to know that too. Uh, there are buyers stepping in down below. They're stepping in down below. They're just waiting uh, to buy this up. If this If this shows itself over the next four weeks, one to three to four weeks, uh, that this is all just accumulation for Q2. Um, you might see us trade this range for four weeks. I know you don't believe that, uh, but we did back in December. We we literally traded uh, a ton of time back in uh, in December, man. You can see it. You can see it right here. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen uh sessions. That's a that's a ton of sessions, right? Uh here's the seventeenth here. You know, if they drop down and we trade sideways, we just do this nonsense accumulation, right? One, we already have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, somewhere in here. Another three over here or something. Uh could be brutal trading. Uh, all of this could be some, some really nasty trading down here. Some kind of nonsense like this. Uh, could, could be brutal down here. Uh, now bears, as long as they get, if they can get down here, start breaking and closing the month underneath, it becomes more bearish. Uh, so if the month closes underneath 394, I'm going to give it, if the month closes tomorrow underneath 394, I'm going to give, uh, March probability to the bears, uh, if they can get that. Uh, so they have to get that by tomorrow. Uh, we have a pin above at 400. We have another pin for tomorrow above at 400. Um, both days. Uh, we'll see if that if that pins us above that we don't close below the 394, uh, 395. But otherwise, it's a matter of buying dips and lows here. Uh, that's all I can tell you about where this market is. Horrible day. Uh, this was a great day into the into the open. And then even above here, we knew that this was getting sold off and down. And the rest of the day was just sideways nonsense here. Just straight sideways. Uh, don't know what else to tell you about that. I, this is, seems like it's pretty firm down here. I'll show it to you. I'll show you spy down below here and what, what they're trying to do, or what bears try, sellers are trying to do. And you can see it right here. Just trying to stay bearish here. This is the S&P 500. Bulls were in charge of the hourly earlier on the 27th. Completely lost it today. Lost the hourly. We've got uh, the 397.11 uh, weekly trigger here. We've got the monthly trigger below that at 395. We know what, what the bears want in the 28th. They want to fucking close, man, underneath this, underneath this weekly and this monthly here. They got to get underneath this. Uh, makes it very bearish for the market to close underneath these, underneath these, um, these uh, uh, weekly and monthly triggers, but until that happens, uh, until, until, that, until that happens, man, it's sideways. You can see it here, right? Look at the time that we spent down here. Uh, this is all early February, spent a bunch of time on the monthly, uh, spending a bunch of time again on the, on the, on the uh, weekly here. And you can see this coiling back here, and then the crazy part is, um, Crazy part here is if you're a bear, I don't know what to say to you if you're a bear. I'm trying to give the bears some some hope here. And for bears to have hope, they need to close under. It is important. Not just trade under. They have to close. Like start closing here and start start defending, turning this into resistance instead of support, and start start just selling off of this 394. Um, without that, bears have, have no case, right? The more that we spend this time coiling down here, start defending this, uh, this all this will build into a, a rip higher here. Uh, so there's not much to say to bears at this point. Uh, other than, there's not much to say to bears at this point other than get underneath 394. It is so important. You can see it right here in a larger time frame see it right here in a large time frame and they were successful here back in uh, December early December sold it underneath uh, accumulation buyers just step right back in rip face right you're back down here again and it's the same kind of a thing 
right? They're, they're, buyers are trying to accumulate here, believe it or not. I'm shocked, uh, but they are trying to accumulate it. Um, so I don't, I don't say in that for, for a bear. Uh, hope and pray that you get underneath 394 uh, so that you can start bloodbathing this market. It's really what a bear needs. Yeah, like what a bear needs, what a bear wants. <laughs> and, but just know there's dip buyers. <laughs> just know that they're here. Just stepping right in. <laughs> it's it's got to be brutal. It's got to be brutal right now. If you're a bear, it's got to be brutal. I, I'm w I wonder how many people are short right at 394 or 396 and going. We're going downtown. We're going to have an elevator shaft down a puck in the basement level. And it hasn't happened. <laughs> it hasn't happened. <laughs> what a bear wants, what a bear needs. A bear needs to get under 394 and hold it. Be like, we're not coming back above. Get out of here. <laughs> but they've been trying, man. Like, trying. Like, can you imagine, can you imagine, like, Tesla at 1,200? And you just see him smashing air above? Think about this on the flip side. It's like, we're, we're not breaking 1,200. You know, so where do you go? You turn around, right? Go the other way. You end up going down. And this is the same thing that's happening for bears right now. Just on in the inverse. Bears have been demoralized for more than five months. Bears, it's, we're in, this is, we're, we, should, we should have a toast to this. Let's have a, let's crack a beer here for the bears. We have a half an hour left. They got five minutes to dump this right now. They got five minutes. So here's a toast to the bears. It's, uh, let's, how many months has it been? And realistically, it was June. Take a sip for June. Uh, July. <laughs> I'm not going to do this for every month. August, September, October, November, December, January. And now February. That's nine months. Nine months. Nine months of no. <laughs> I would be raging upset if I was a bear. Nine months. Of trading sideways. <laughs> Nine months. Nine months told no. It's got to be brutal. There's no way that there's no way that's happy. Can you imagine like? Do you know how many YouTube videos have been made in the past nine months? We're gonna have a market crash. <laughs> How many, how many is that? What do you figure that is? 20 a day, 20 a month? What do we have like 20 of those a month? And then you got nine months. Oh shit. It's a couple hundred fucking, couple hundred market crash videos, right? There's no way that's cool. It's like I've been making market crash videos for nine months. <laughs> to no, to no avail. For nine straight months. It's got to be brutal. <laughs> and all a bear needs right here is to close under 394. They don't need to close under like 360, none of that shit. You just close under 394 and hold that shit. Like, we're not even talking 345. Just close under 394. It's pretty simple. Yeah, I feel bad for bears. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I love bears. Like, I, like you gotta be, you gotta be, pretty pissed off if, especially like the the people that make the the market crash videos. Like, can you imagine living with yourself saying the market's gonna crash for nine straight months? Every video you make is like, fucking market's crashing tomorrow, guys. We're fucked. <laughs> That's it. 
Market collapse. <laughs> I'd be pissed off. I'd be like, I don't know. I couldn't look in the mirror and like talk to my, my wife or my girlfriend or my boyfriend. I'd be like, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, there, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to hit. I promise. <laughs> Nine straight months. This is, well, cheers to bears. February 28th, tomorrow. I hope that, I wish you the market crash. I think there are a lot of bulls out there that can't wait for it to happen either. I, th I think a bull would be like, fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Give me a buyable bottom. <laughs> Give me 2800 right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Niles, are you serious? Three thousand by mid year? It's fucking what kind of call is that? <laughs> kind of call what kind of call is three thousand mid year? Oh, yeah, baby. Keep on squeezing. Print me some calls into the bell. Print me some calls into the bell. Print me some calls into the bell. Looking again now to the early market on closing balance. So it's uh, currently sitting at 228 million to the sell side. Ah, oh, shit. Sell side? The fuck was that, sell side? Uh oh. I'm going to get fucked in here. <laughs> Last limit down, I remember, was in 2020. My God. What did they end up saying? They end up saying, uh, they're saying that China has been anything but an honest broker in the Ukraine Russia peace effort. Well, that's bullshit. Well, please, come on, get underneath. <sighs> I could just imagining like Marco's like in his office right now going, if we can't do it in cash market, we'll do it in after hours. If we can't do it in after hours, we'll do it in ES. We'll sell some contracts in the middle of the night. He's got his, like, mustache all shaved in. Come on, baby. 332, half an hour left. I guess we call this as being tagged, right? This daily PT2 is hit. Is this good enough right here that's got hit? Or no? Should we get rid of this one now? So that one got hit, right? We'll get rid of those. Oh, God, these fucking dealers. Where's that? Where, where, where are those 400s? Now there's 420,000 calls here. 
now 420,000. Let's see if I can change that. I have to buy this fucking clothes. They can get down deep enough right now. They can get down here to this 395, I'd be happy. We got 400 C's for tomorrow. There's. 400 C's, there's 152,000 of them. They were at a dollar 40 or a dollar 20 at some point today. They're now 61 cents. Almost cheap. I'm going to piss already. Yeah, I'm look I'm waiting on uh we're at 3:30 right now, so the next hour uh on the charts that I have here show up as being bullish, not bearish. The early that I've got here says bullish. I'm going to check the 15 minute. God, this is all the fucking bulls have. Omar, I see what you're talking about. Bulls can't escape here. I see what you're saying. I'm watching it here in the, on the hourly right now. Yeah, I'm watching that too, Joe. It's killing me. So I'm getting texted in the background. It's killing me. I'm watching Tesla just rip face in the background while they're trying to pin fucking spy into the clothes here. It's fucking gross. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not. I wouldn't be long. I wouldn't be long Tesla after today. Fucking killing the gap down below on Spy right now. It's killing it. Just selling nice bear plane above. Ooh. 
trading 396.86 right now. Bears want the the mega bearish close on February 28th below 394. We'll see if they can get it. Man, now this makes me want to wait. I was gonna buy. I have some calls right in here, but now I'm gonna wait for this bell down here to get some zero dates for tomorrow. Woo! Just ruthless on the bear trade. Look at this beautiful bear trade. Selling off the one minute, the one minute again, trying to get it lower. Uh, wanting to close the month out of February underneath 394. Bulls not being able to put it together since last Thursday. Uh, just selling, teeing off above. Uh, trying to sell this market into end of month and weaken the weekly and monthly as weak as they can get it. Uh, we'll find out here. We'll find we'll find out not only in this close but this, into this tomorrow. This stream is sponsored by To the Tick. Get free daily piv points, Fibonacci, and market profile the levels. Afternoon. What's crazy is signing up. I'm watching the Tesla tick. in the background com. here just melt straight up like it was nothing. Traded onto a high of 209.36. If you're looking for a new buy-in on Tesla, it's at 202.09. Whoop! Hold on here. Hyg. Selling HYG selling off its five minute look below for a price target of 74.33 on HYG. Apple trading below its five, uh, Apple's trading below its five minute, one minute, and hourly. If it can reject, if Apple can reject off of 147.85, price target below is 147.44. And interestingly enough, yeah, if you can get a rejection off Apple at 147.84, if your target below is 147.45. So and looking now to the is, early market on close imbalance, still sitting at 228 million to the sell side. 146.13. That would be the close that Apple wants to have on the end of the month. So if you're looking for an end of the month close on Apple uh, for the 28th, you want to close below 146.12. 146.12 on Apple. Close below, or I shouldn't say that. I said 146.12, it's actually 138.71 uh, for the month was what you're looking for on Apple, believe it or not. Major, major. So you'd expect some pretty large selling uh, tomorrow into the end of February. 138.71 uh, for Apple. Currently right now, though, uh, Apple not as bearish as it would seem. Uh, 146.10 is not going to quite do it on Apple. You definitely want to see the close below 138.87 into tomorrow on Apple. My God, look at this. Ha still haven't closed the gap on SPY. 396 or 396.29. Still not closed at this point. Bears want to get this sell right off this one minute and try to close this gap into the close down at 396.30 uh, or so. Unreal. 396.29 would be that gap close if they can get it tee off on this one minute chart. I should have kept those puts earlier. I should have just held on to them. I should have just held on to both sides of uh, puts and calls into the bell. I ended up adding two sets of calls in here. We'll see how they close into the bell here, if they go into zero or not. Remember these 420,400 Cs down below. Does this same thing play out tomorrow into Friday? where you don't get that close at 400C again tomorrow. They just pin the market below it, allowing all these calls to uh, close worthlessly tomorrow. Yeah, they got me on, uh, they got me on my, my calls right now. I've got some 398s that still have some value on them. My 400s are fucking destroyed, but I got 398s as well.
We have another day of this tomorrow. We've got another 200,000 calls at 400 C uh, for Friday. So doubtful that they'll, clo that they'll print those. They may print them on the bell tomorrow, but that's about all you'll get. You won't get an actual close above at 400 tomorrow. Now 3.43 in the afternoon. Maybe I should call it the time every day. Tesla's broken below its five minute. Tesla trading at 207, 206.84 right now. It's getting a bearish crossover. The first one that we've seen on Tesla in some time here. Not since February 23rd have we seen a bearish close on Tesla. So be careful on Tesla. Uh, price is crossing below the one in five minute. She's currently trading at 206.62. You'd be looking for a trade to 201.94 on Tesla if it begins to roll over at any point. Uh, not since the 23rd of February have we seen a bearish cross on Tesla. Oh, I, sh I have that wrong. Uh, yeah, the 23rd of, uh, of February. So be careful on Tesla here. Man, brutal day. Even for bears, like if, even being a bear in here, this is great. But talk about waiting all day long for that second leg down. Just all day long. Teeing off on the top of the key at R2. Take it down, close the gap into the bell here. Unreal day in the market. We're looking at again now to the early market on close imbalance. It's still sitting at 228 million to the sell side. Yeah, I'm on 398 still into this bell. I want to see what happens here into this close. Still, they're still not paying them. They were 18 cents like five minutes ago. They're now like bumping around 16, 18 cents. They're just, they just don't want to pay them. If this is what, like, so this is, I ran into this last week uh, where I started trading one dates instead of zero dates. So I have this feeling that I got to switch from zeros to ones. Watching these not, these no prints here. As a matter of fact, uh, earlier this morning, Zero dates weren't printing either. They, they printed like 30%, 40% on some calls that went up and then sold off. They just weren't printing. So if I'm not getting printing on calls, same day, I'll take one or two days in advance. Uh, I've been adding more one-day calls and puts uh, to the market instead of zero dates. So maybe we switch over to one dates instead of zero dates uh, rather, rather than dealing with this kind of nonsense. Now, it's been the past few weeks uh, that I've been switching over to one dates more frequently. Like right now, they're 16 cents, so they don't even want to pay them. And we have another problem tomorrow too. The bigger the bigger problem tomorrow is we have another we have a whole another a whole another rack of four hundreds up here tomorrow. So forget today. Tomorrow we've got the same situation tomorrow. Absolute same situation. Huge concentration of four hundred C's before we even get there tomorrow.
It's like a, it's like an anti magnet up here telling you no fucking way we're not going there. Now, now my 398s are now 12 cents, just getting fucking torched. I got to sell these things. I don't really have a choice here. I have to, like, clean something out of these. Now they're 11 cents. 348. It's a bad day for me. I'm losing some money today. Um, so I gotta, I'm going to look through my, I'm going to look through and see how bad today is. Definitely not a good day. This will be the second week in a row that starting the week, I've had a bad day. Uh, it's uncommon for me. So it makes me start it's starting to make me wonder if there's too many players in this market uh, trading zero dates. I'm starting to sniff around going, too many fucking people out there trading zero dates. Too, too, much, too much blabbering on the internet. Yeah, they're going to burn them. Without a doubt. So I sold, I sold some ca calls here for seven cents. Uh, my other calls are worthless at this point. There's 425,400 Cs that are expi expiring at zero. And for tomorrow on the 28th, we've got fucking 162,400 Cs. They're saying uh, that Meta is creating a new top-level product group both focused on right. AI. So this is Meta CEO Zuckerberg saying in an instant. Hold on here. So you've got, so for tomorrow, we've got 400 Cs, right? 162,000. Uh, there's 60 cents, right? I got to, hold on a second. I'm trying to do a split here. The fuck am I trying to do here? Give me a second here. I'm trying to look inside my, uh, my chart here. All right. So I'm trying to look inside the options chain right now. So just like last Friday, right? They were, they wore down all of these 400 Cs. I'm actually looking at buying 400 Cs for tomorrow, but hold on a second here. You've got, an, you've got another, like, you've got another magnet telling you for tomorrow that we're not going there. That's what it's saying, at least, right? We're not going to print them. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll print them for you, but not at the price that they were bought at. Uh, we saw the same thing happen today, right? Came up right off the open, printed some calls, right? And then down here, no more 400s. 400s out the gate. Sorry, you're not getting them. Uh, the question becomes for tomorrow, do we get these 400s printing? Do they print them into the opening bell and then sell off uh, tomorrow? Do you see the banks in here trying to sell the market below in tomorrow? I'll be honest with you. I'm not feeling right right now uh, buying this close. I, ju I just am not. I'm, I'm not like, so last week was the first week in probably months where I had a bad first day. And today, on this week, I'm having a bad first day again. Uh, so I'm kind of concerned here with zero date buying, I'll be honest with you. I've done much better on one date. Uh, so let's take a look real quick on Monday and see what we have in store, for, or not Monday, for excuse me, for the uh, first of March and see what's loaded up. It's like the first of March, right? 400 Cs are $1.18. 50,000 of them on March 1st. March 2nd, 400C, 14,000 calls on March 2nd. So they don't even care. Like, they're just buying calls. They're just like, we're going up. Right? And then we've got 60,000 puts on 395P on March 3rd. Uh, so on March 3rd, they think we're going to get the rollover finally in the market. But just, just consider this for a moment. 400C... Right for next for or for March second, which is in four days, are only a dollar sixty eight. So you'd probably be better off buying one to one to four day calls than you ever are right now buying zero dates because they're just crushing them every day. Every day you walk into the market and you're like, okay, we're gonna buy some we're gonna buy some calls and try to make some money here, right? It's just not happening like that. 
here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put out some I'm gonna put out some some what do I got here? Sixty three cents for the twenty eighth. Sixty two cents for the twenty eighth. God damn it. Hold on a second here. Sixty one cents. Sixty cents. Fifty eight cents. Man, it it just looks like they're just gonna torch them. And then they'll ride them up to 400. But they're dirt fucking cheap. <laughs> they are so cheap. So cheap. So, 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 so cheap. I'm like getting, I'm getting sucked back into the one dates. <laughs> March 1st, 400C, 42000 at dollar eleven. Man, this would make for a sweet trade tomorrow. Like you wake up tomorrow morning and we're down, and you buy those Monday calls that are eleven for like 60 cents or something. Like you're talking, this is what? Two days away? Three days away as of today. They're, they're kind of cheap right now. They're kind of cheap right where they are. All right. Got an order in for a dollar uh thirteen. We'll see if we close those in four hundred C for the for the first. I like the first better than I like the zero the one dates for tomorrow. Dude, brutal trading. Gnarly trading in here. Yeah, I, I just put an order in for 400C for uh, March 1st. And I, wanna tr I don't want to trade the fucking zero date right now. I had the same issue last week. First time in a long time on a weekly. Uh, zero date chop. Or not, it's not chop. It's torching these calls. Uh, they're just not willing to pay them. So they're not willing to fucking pay them. <coughs> They're not willing to fucking pay him, then I'll I'll just take him a day later. Put an extra day on him and see what happens. Yeah, I just I just put an order in. We'll see we'll see if they close if they close or not, if I grab them or not. Yeah, this is the second week in a row. Second week in a row where zero dates are uh, they're not doing what they should be doing. I'm doing better on one dates right now. Uh, one dates went on a low in the day, and then I'm doing much better on, on what they're printing. So let me know in the chat. Let me ask a, a chat question. Let's see if I can ask a chat question. I don't know if I can do a poll. You know, I'm probably going to have to get a widget for the poll. I want to see if you're, if you're bear. Just tell me in the chat if you think that uh, the market closes below uh, 394. Let me give you an exact number. If you think that the market closes the month under... Three ninety five sixty seven. I'm actually really bullish here right now. Pretty fucking bullish. I haven't closed these call or I haven't I haven't been able to buy these, so I'm gonna hold on a second, I'm gonna try to buy them right now. I had them at a dollar fifteen and I couldn't get them. All right. So dollar nineteen. That's the going price. Give me a dollar seventeen. Dollar sixteen. Give me a dollar fifteen. Come on. All right, fuck it. Dollar sixteen. Now we're down to a dollar fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Dollar fifteen right here. I'm watching the weekly come up on the spy right now. So I got a calls for March first for a dollar fifteen, dollar sixteen. Uh, they're trading a dollar thirteen right now. I'm gonna hold these into at least tomorrow and see where we close the day out. Um, you know, bears. The only thing I can say in this close right here is that the bears want to close the month under 395.65. So we'll see this right here. I'm going to put this up for you for tomorrow. 395.62. Right here. Sellers want to close. Under 395.62. Where they want to close the month. Right there for tomorrow. Let me mute this real, real quick. I got to piss so bad again. Need a piss bottle. The sellers want to close right underneath this 395.62. I'm not a fan of us trading above four or 400C uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to put sellers above here. Sellers are like, you know, you're not going up there. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Sellers are like, We're, you're not going up above here tomorrow. So that, that's what I'm seeing for tomorrow. Right there. Uh, if, we, if we trade higher into tomorrow, it's sell the open, without a doubt. Or I am. I'm selling the open up here. I've got I've got no other business being inside this market. None. None but buying dips down here. Yeah, so Winky, uh, thanks for helping out with the Twitch first live stream on Twitch. This is all new for us. We haven't had done we have never done or Winky has done Twitch before, uh, but I've never done Twitch myself. Uh, I appreciate all of you inside of the comments and the chat today having some patience. It's hard for me to see what's working in the chat and what's not working in the chat. I'm going to work on the chat after the after I uh, stop the live stream today. So I appreciate you showing up. Uh, I, for some reason, I can't ask polls or questions in the chat. So, so questions and polls, I'll look into a widget. Uh, but I am able to see all of your chat conversations. Although they're coming through like crazy fast now uh, due to Twitch and YouTube. So I'm not able to keep up with everything that everybody is saying. No constant lagging behind. I'm, I'm reading your chat right now. So you did like Twitch. Uh, so hey, Rowett, can you get, I'll ask, uh, I'll ask Winky if he needs any more moderators. Uh, let me see. No contest, right? You like you like Twitch better, right on. Uh, I'm sorry, but this put call ratio makes me expect a rally coming up next. Yeah, we, you know, Omar, man, if the Bears can't put this together, it becomes a matter of. I'll be honest with you, dude. If, if the Bears can't put together a fucking close, man, uh, Omar, you're gonna see that. You're gonna see that December bullshit. Just buy a dip, sell the rip. Buy a dip, sell the rip. Thanks, Bob. Uh, Pulse question predictions. Yeah, I was able to do. Um, I was able to do. Hey, thanks, uh, Cat, uh, Rel Cat. Thanks, SCT Voyager. Uh, no lag on Twitch. The um, I think I. So when I was just doing YouTube, I I could just ask a poll, polling question. I wonder if I can do it right here, right now. I think I still can. Uh, I can do it on like the Twitter or on, on the on the YouTube studio, but I think I need to get like a like a widget for Streamlabs to ask those questions now. 
You have a bot uh, sit in Twitch chat and respond to price and stuff. Yeah, I think um, I think Winky was talking about putting bots that would answer questions for you in the Twitch stream. Oh yeah, baby. Cap and hot tub stream at the same time. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for showing up today. I'll be back again tomorrow at 9.30 in the morning. Uh, this day today, right, was kind of brutal. Uh, not much else to say today, right? We came onto the open today, bought a dip, rode it up. We saw this rollover coming. Uh, of course, I'm up here trying to buy fucking calls. I'm like, yeah, I'll just buy some calls, and I'm going to tell them not to buy anything. Don't follow me. Woof, right back down. Bought some more 50-cent calls or some shit like that. Woof, right back down, right? Calls and puts in here doing splits. Made some decent money in here. Came back down and bought some calls. Woof, got smoked three times. Un unusual for me, three times getting smoked. Uh, I think I'm up right now in some calls here, but, I, dude, I have no faith in these fucking calls. I got to be honest with you. Uh, if any kind of real money selling comes into into play in the overnight tonight and they try to pull this bullshit down here at 394, uh, it's going to be a throwaway for me. Definitely a throwaway. Uh, the worst part of this is is that uh, my day trading account is going down fast right now. I'm like, I don't like this at all. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll check back. And 9.30 in the morning, I'll catch up with you guys. Until then, have a great night. Take care of yourselves. Take care of the people that you love. And I really appreciate it. Please like the videos. Uh, please share with people that I'm on Twitch now at this point. I appreciate that support out there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.